Welcome back to Los Angeles 2119. I am Eric, and this is Callisto 6. Hi, everybody. <laughs> but what is Hi. Callisto 6? No, no, we don't answer that at the top of the show. All right, I'll go ahead and tell everybody. Let me just oh, open up the game Bible. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> um, so hi, hope everybody's having good. We're back for our second episode. Um, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna skip the day part and just say I hope everyone's having a good. And uh, biggest thing that I have to announce tonight on the top of the show is a special thanks real quick again last week to our sponsor for our very first episode, Q Workshop. <laughs> This Yay! week, we are being sponsored by none other than the people themselves. This week's episode is sponsored by Monty Cook Games. Yeah, so uh, okay. I've got a little thing to read off here, yeah. Right. Um, uh, so you can get the Cypher System Core Rulebook now. There's also a revised uh, Cypher System Rulebook, Ooh. fully compatible with the original on Kickstarter now as part of your best game ever uh, Kickstarter. Um, there's even a backer level that gives you both of them, so if you don't have to wait for the new one to start playing the Cypher system. Uh, your best game ever is a book from Monty Cook uh, and the crew of Monty Cook Games, who've combined a total of 250 years of role-playing experience. That's amazing. Uh, I'm pretty sure 100 of those is probably Monty. Uh, <laughs> it's all about making every campaign, adventure, and game session as fun and as memorable as possible, and we have, uh, I get to be a contributing writer on that, which is a lot of fun. Mercy. Mercer's also a contributing writer, and Matt Colville, a good friend of mine, uh, is also going to be a contributing writer. We've got a lot of amazing people writing on that game. Um, the I Want It All Backer Level is an incredible deal. It includes the uh, Cypher System Rulebook, your best game ever, and a bunch of genre supplements, supplements rather, uh, like The Stars Are on Fire, which is the one I really want. Um, Bruce Cordell is writing that one, I believe. He's the gentleman who created The Strange, which is my favorite... No offense to Numenera, I love all of them, and Predation, but you I love The favorites. Strange you so much. You can have a yeah. favorite. I have a favorite. That's okay. The Strange is Sliders <laughs> meets Call of Cthulhu. You're allowed. It's just really allowed. freaking cool. Um, anyway, uh, so uh, that's uh, one of the many of them that are coming out. Actually, I think Shanna just announced that she's going to be writing on one of them, too. They're coming out with one. I don't know what it is, but it's the, the cover of the book. I haven't gotten a chance to read up in the details yet, but one of the game supplements they're coming out with is called We're All Mad Here, and it looks like the silhouette of the Mad Hatter drinking tea. <gasps> oh, and yeah. like a carriage. Dry, it look, like, I don't know what's going Alice on there, Wonderland. but if you like fairies. Mm, that sounds stressful. Yes, please. Stuff. Yes, please. Um, which uh, I do. So um, it's all about creating and running a great world. science fiction <laughs> campaign. Um, the, 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 the Kickstarter itself is basically about how to put together your best gaming experience and your best game nights. And it's everything for how to take care of each other at the gaming table to what's some of the best snack foods to buy for a game. So I'm really excited. Um, the talk. URL is yourbestgameever.com. So that's pretty easy to remember. Um, so thank you so much, Monty Cook Games, for sponsoring us. That's super rad. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. So before we jump into uh, the stuff tonight, um, oh yeah, the other big announcement we have tonight um, is that we've got merch coming up, guys. We got um, It's finally happening. <laughs> we are finally gonna be having some merch. We'll have some announcements to make next week, um, but it might be as early as next week. Yeah, um, we also have Pride shirts now. <laughs> Um, that are coming up. Um, we have them in box format and uh, what is it? Fitted? Yep. yep. Fitted is what we're calling them. Um, <laughs> box format being the aforementioned unisex, which is really just kind of like this Your boxy unisex. shirt. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so check those out. Those are really cool. And those are, I believe, those are either going up on the GNS store or they just went up on the GNS store. I'd have to double check with Sax, who's probably at his computer right now doing this. What's that, Devin? They are up? What's they are up. The, I'm being the, told now that they are up. What's on them? Uh, it's a, is it the it's you it's the pride logo, logo right? Uh, oh, oh, the pride. Okay. Yeah, it's a pride. I thought you were talking about the merch. No, 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 not not yet. Merch is going up, and we're going to surprise you guys with what we got going on. But I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> yeah. So um, that's the other big news. Um, and before we jump into the game recaps tonight, uh, welcome back, Bonnie. Oh yeah. Yay! <laughs> Surprise! You're glad for them. <laughs> yes. Yes, the hurricane in Hawaii literally blew you back to us. It did. So. It did. So sorry that uh, to all those in Hawaii that we're looking forward to amazing Aloha Comic Con, they're going to reschedule it. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we find out the dates of that, Xander and I will probably hop right back on a plane and Great. 
come right back to you. And one of these days, we are going to have to get down there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hawaii, first of all. Yes. yes. And second of all, uh, yeah, it would be great to go to a con um, yeah. that, mm -hmm. you know, that's not local. Because mm -hmm. uh, Gen Con was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so much fun. But we had to split the party and it was sad. Yeah, yeah. we had to split the party. Never split the party. <laughs> but we were represented at uh, STLV and mm -hmm. Gen Con, so that was cool. Mm -hmm. um, we'll make it happen. We yeah, did good. make it happen. Good. Yeah. So um, on that note, before we jump into our final announcement for the night, I just want to say, please, everybody who is watching in Hawaii, please stay safe. Safe. Yes, um, please. If it looks like the road is flooded, do not drive over it. And all of the other common sense things they tell you to do in a storm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, um, I think that's it for tonight. Unless there's something... Sam, you kind of look like you want to say something. Is it okay if I say something? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I think it's all right. Okay, I'm excited! <laughs> I had a feeling. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to take it away from <laughs> um, I think we can go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of Callisto 6. Ah, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> From we the, just heard the intro. end of this show. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. All right, yeah, it was amazing. Good game, everybody. Good game. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and jump back into our recap tonight. Um, we were introduced to our heroes, we'll say, in our very first episode, last session. Well, what have you done that's heroic aside from... Well, okay. I took all the free food. What gonna, are you talking about? That's true. You did. You did eat a heroic dinner. I said a joke about clouds. That's right. It no, was you heroic. didn't. You didn't finish you the didn't, joke. Oh, I yeah, did finish the joke. You um, almost said a joke about clouds. The punchline was ruined. Um, so in our last episode, we had the introduction of all of our heroes. Um, Destiny led everybody to the Los Angeles Convention Center downtown, where a huge tech expo was taking place—a job fair tech expo. This job fair tech expo has largely been mostly, it's a PR stunt. For optic reasons, it's trying to get the city sort of reminded that the corporations are the ones that gave them all the jobs and all the stability and all the infrastructure. But it is also a talent scouting fair. So a lot of y'all were pulled down here uh, to try to showcase some of the things that you've been working on. Maybe try to get your foot in the door at some of these corporations, um, or as it were, some of, or a chair in the door, as it were, for some of us. Um, I never do that to my chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, things started kind of tumultuously at the very beginning, because when you arrived, there was a small protest going on, which Cass, of course, was a part of. Um, but as the night went on, and the activities went on, and the introductions went on, and people were reunited from their past, um, the protests started getting larger and larger and larger until it reached something that was quite noticeable for local news stations. Roughly 4,000 people outside chanting and shouting at each other, um, some in support of a Measure Z, some against it. Um, Measure Z, of course, being the vote that is coming up in a few months um, that would severely restrict the power of the corporate Los Angeles uh, it, it's, its ability to influence the government and infuse it with, power, with money to influence voting structures, to also to influence pretty much the entire city. Um, corporate LA has an iron grip on Los Angeles, a benevolent iron grip. With Measure Z passed, it would severely limit the corporate power and change the power structure of all of Los Angeles. It would be huge. In the past 40 years, corporate LA has been essentially the de facto government of the city. Um, things have reached a fevered pitch between the power struggles between these two giants. The local government and the corporations both clashing time and time again in courts. The federal government 
not really doing much to back up the local government, except for, of course, putting in petitions and lawsuits and all sorts of things on the federal level that are somehow just getting hung up and not happening at any kind of pace. A lot of people, of course, suggesting that that might be something to do with the money that's being infused into the politics. But where it's left right now is that Los Angeles' hands is in its own fate, and it'll be up to the voters in November. And as a result, Los Angeles has become something of a powder keg. It was calm at first. By the time you were all getting ready for the big dinner to honor your father, Hops, um, you were on stage giving a dedication to the, uh, <laughs> a very good dedication to the, uh, <laughs> to the crowd when security came in and actually disrupted the entire event, saying that the area was no longer safe and that some of the protesters had broken into the line and had come into the building. Um, as everyone was being navigated out of their perspective spots and being like sort of, you know, shoot off out of the exits, the fire escapes, you, you were all led out of one of the escapes by one of the servitor robots that led you into one of the back alleys where a lot of the service trucks come and drop off food supplies and maintenance tools and such. Um, left this fire escape in this back alley, you immediately encountered a woman in a lab coat that was spattered with blood. The next thing that happened is what changed your lives forever. If you remember correctly, right before she went down, she apologized. I'm sorry, but I'm out of time. And she opened what looked like a metal cylinder. A heavy metal cylinder was articulated with some kind of technology all over. It looks like some kind of containment field of some kind as she opened it. You could see like a blue glow and then a yellow lightning bolt lancing out from this canister, this cylinder striking all of you, sending you all into moments of incredible pain where the world around you was physically altered and for some metaphysically altered linking you, some of you, to every voice of technology in the city, linking others to the vastness of time and space all at once, consistently inconsistent, your face falling apart for a moment, then reforming again, Luma, your hands becoming like water for a second, kind of wavy, your body literally folding onto itself, Anton, as you fell over under the ground, your, head, your legs still standing. Cass destroying the concrete beneath her in a single punch that caused the area to crater and everyone to lose their balance. And then, of course, there was the humming, the popping that almost deafened each one of you, like lightning strikes, and then the smell of ozone all throughout the alley as electricity exploded off of hops. It was all over in a moment. And when the smoke, literally smoke, cleared from the event, you found her looking up at you, somewhat in shock. Her last words before she collapsed to the ground and the cylinder rolls out of her hand. I'm sorry, I didn't have, any other, I didn't have a choice. She appears to have lost consciousness, face down on the ground. Now Luma and Lacey have immediately moved over to her and Lacey is holding this canister, which written across the top of it in script is the words Callisto 6. <laughs> and we got a great, <laughs> like, bravo for our brilliant button at the end of last episode. <laughs> and that is where we pick up. In the distance, you can still hear the chants and the angry shouts of the crowd, and you're starting to hear the sounds of um, hover vehicles moving through the city skyline. It sounds like whatever's happening in the front of the convention center is getting really bad. But out here in the alley, as the ringing in your ears is finally dying down, it's quiet except for the echoes of Lacey's voice bouncing off of the walls of this alleyway. What is Callisto 6? And that is where we begin. What the hell just happened? I don't know, is she still breathing? Um, so you kind of roll her over. Um, she, her eyes, the moment you roll her over, you see a little bit of blood trickling out of her mouth and you immediately notice there is a wound on her side. What kind of wound? It's, so 2119, they yeah. of course have upgraded past bullets and are now using plasma bolts. Um, very highly uh, concentrated uh, bolts of energy. 
um, fired at point blank range, they cause very similar wounds to uh, like uh, ballistic wounds as the as the discharge is still forming at that moment of second in time. Um, at long range, they immediately fuse wounds close. It's like getting shot with a soldering iron at subsonic, mm. at hypersonic speeds. Yeah, <laughs> she is bleeding. And it looks like it was a close range gunshot. Um, you can see how bad the wound is, Luma, the moment you roll her over. Um, her eyes have kind of started to roll back into her head. And you can see that she hasn't completely lost consciousness, but she is slipping away. The wound is grievous to say the least. You can see the faint hint of bleached white bone underneath a stretched burned muscle right underneath the lab coat area that disappears as you shift her around. She is critically injured. There is also a name tag still on her lab suit. What does it say? Um, has a picture of her face and written across it uh, is, oh, I don't have it in my notes here. <laughs> Must have been a page missing. Um, one second, let me make it up. <laughs> it says Dr. Arani Kana. Dr. Arani Kana. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Revision, I did have What's it. What's her name? It's double-sided. <laughs> I'm gonna read. Her nice name, save it for something else. Her name, Same. her actual, okay, just kidding, JK. Her actual name is Dr. Anika Patel. A-N-I-K-A P-A-T-E-L. Underneath it, it says Pyramid Star Solutions. Uh, Clearance level, and then it has a barcode written across the bottom, which Cass, uh, no, I'm sorry, not Cass, Lacey, to your amazement, Staring at the barcode, you immediately know what it says. Level one clearance, Pyramid Star Solutions. Level one clearance, Pyramid Star Solutions. I I I I, I don't know what to do. I, I'm I I I I've taken first ed, or first aid, but uh, um, this is different. This um, does anyone have any uh, cloth? Something clean? Um, yeah, I have stuff. my patch kit. Yeah, <coughs> you do? Yeah. I, I always bring my pharmacy. Great. Um, open it. Open it. Um, I have a first aid kit with me. Okay. You pull it out. Um, Lacey, do you have any skill in medicine or any first aid skill? Uh, no, no skill. Just okay. So you've got an asset. Uh, um, beyond you know my knowledge and uh, adeptness in science. I've okay. seen some damage. I'm trained in healing. Are you? That gives you. Uh, uh, difficulty reduction. So, what do we call it? An asset. An asset. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. help from an ally. Mm -hmm. You can get that. So, um, what I'll do here then um, is you'll be able to use Cass's skill um, to lower the difficulty by one. Cass, what kind of healing is it? Uh, Specifically, is it just? Does it just say healing? So we'll just say healing. But in my head, it's because I've been in a lot of scraps. Then we'll say it's first mm -hmm. aid. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, oh, good. Uh, essentially, <laughs> essentially. Um, I'll tell you, Cass, just from looking at it, you've seen some bad wounds. You've never seen anything this dirty. This is a, a vicious, vicious wound. Um, if you want to go ahead and make the roll, Lacey. Um, I'm Maybe hold it that way, but that's not one you walk away from. I'm going to set the difficulty for this is going to start at six. Walking is optional. Whoa. So difficulty six. So the way the game works, just as a quick refresher to our audience who may not be familiar with the cipher system, Lacey is now going to take a d20, and Lacey, with the difficulty of six, you take the difficulty level that I have given you and you multiply it by three. So Lacey, you need an 18 or better on a d20 to be able to stabilize this critically injured woman. Um, however, you have somebody helping you who has first aid, which will lower the difficulty by one. So it'll drop to five. Now you need a 15 or better, and you have an asset because you've got a first aid kit. So difficulty is going to drop to four. So you need a 12 or better on a D20. Oof. All right. I say that as I come over to help, I, I pull myself up and I'm guessing impulsively brace myself against the ground and that's the reason I'm not touching anybody right now. Okay. Yeah, follow up question to that. How messed up are we right now? Okay. Are we losing control or in control? Yeah. So let's, let's go ahead and get to that because that is definitely taking place over there. Um, 
as you're coming to Anton, you kind of, you, you notice, you feel the urge to sort of like, you know how when you're walking and you realize your back is kind of stiff and you want to pop it? Yeah. You have that sort of sensation all over your body. If you can imagine that need to stretch and as you look down, you're, you're totally fine. You're laying flat on your back. A moment ago, you had the sickening vision of just your legs standing with you about four feet away from them and your torso stretched out, leaving your shirt and jeans, so exposing your midsection as you were kind of stretched and falling away like a giant noodle. And now you're just laying on your back on the ground with this sort of restless sensation all in through you. Uh. Lindy, are you okay? Is everybody else okay? What happened? What so, happened to us? When you ask Lindy that question, what you see is Lindy completely unconscious. And the streaks of white going through her hair, which were not there before. Um, there's also this, as you reach towards her, all the hairs on your arm immediately stand up on end. I'm gonna try to get to her and like grab- Pop! pop there's this up. popping sound. The moment you touch her, it's like a- <laughs> It's like you just touched a live wire. It's like you see, uh, the moment you pull your hand back, the skin has just vanished from your fingertips. Uh. Like you just touched an electrical wire. And it's just peeled back, and you see the, the soft pink virgin skin right underneath that has never been, that's never supposed to see the light of day in this form of generation, just completely exposed to the night air. You're just kind of, uh, Guys, Lindy's hurt. Linda's hurt, Linda's that? hurt. She, she I, I touched her. Did she just melt? I, I touched her and I couldn't touch her. I, I, it was like touching a, 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 a live wire or something. Is she connected to like a, a an electricity thing or something? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh yeah. As you're as you're as you're asking that question, you're you're actually having trouble focusing on them. Um, it looks like the images blur as you're talking to them, almost like you need glasses. Like maybe maybe you've been donged on the head and you're kind of just seeing a blurred vision. For a second, it's like you're. It's almost like you're seeing two or three of them at once. And what's ridiculous about it is when you kind of blink a few times, you're watching Anton's mouth move, but it's not matching the words that are coming out of his mouth. And then when he keeps saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, suddenly you're hearing the voice, but his mouths aren't moving again as it closes. And it begins to sort of eventually realign, but you realize you're actually hearing something that he's about to say before he says it like an echo from somewhere that it's not coming from, happening before it happens. And so you're hearing, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. No, it's okay, don't worry. Uh, guys, I think I have a concussion. Oh yeah. Probably. Same. Everyone's fine, everyone's fine, everything's fine. Um, so to make my role, uh, medical science of science, uh, will I be able to use that shift? Um. Hmm, probably not. It's a di it's definitely a division of science, but it, it I'll be using a lot of medicine. <laughs> yeah, I just don't see. I mean, I, I'm not aware. Well, you do a lot of repairs on cybernetic limbs. Mm -hmm. So I tell you what, I'll 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 meet you halfway, and instead I'll give you a plus one to your roll. Okay. Um, so you need a 12 or better. And you get a plus one to the D20. One, so I need 11 or better, and I will spend a level of effort, so I need... So you're gonna drop it down to nine? Yeah. So it's now difficulty three. So I need an eight or better. You need an eight or better, yeah. 15. 15. Um, you begin to apply the first aid. So yeah. this is what you're gonna get out of this, Luma. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Lacey. Yeah. So as you, as you begin to apply the bandages and some of the things that can help like stabilize from the shock, giving the injection and then putting a bandage right over the, the open wound. Um, you'll be able to stabilize her, maybe even get some consciousness out of her. She is definitely going to die here. If she moves, she's going to die. If medical attention, if, if she is not immediately put in stasis and sent to a medical facility in the next five minutes, she is going to die. It is a lethal wound. I need medical stasis. She can't be moved, she'll die. Okay. Um, uh, there's tons of security out front. Maybe we can go get one. Uh, it's crap. Um, yeah. Emergency! Emergency! Um, you see, you immediately hear a robotics voice come up as your your glasses. You just slide them down over your face, and you get the connection. It goes, zzz, zzz. emergency. We're sorry. Operators are currently busy due to an emergency in your area. Please stand by. 
Cassian. Throw my glasses against the wall. <laughs> um, oh. They shatter. <laughs> what the heck was that? Oh. Yes. Oh okay, God. there's a lot of loud, loud things happening right now. It's okay, just take a deep breath. Were you demoing any just... stasis devices? Who are you asking Cassium. me? Cassium. Cassium. Were you demoing uh, medical um, stasis devices? Would there be some inside? I don't think so, no, not that I know of. Look, I can't do anything, I can't do it. Um. She starts to regain consciousness. We see her eyes roll from the back of her head back to... And she sees all of you kind of crowded around her, save the two of you since you're back over there. But uh, she just says... Dr. Patel? We're trying. We're trying to get you help. They're, co- they're coming. Who's coming? What's happening? What did you do to us? I didn't have a choice. I'm so sorry. Who did this to you? Hey, 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 hey! It's okay. You're gonna. You're gonna be fine. You, like you said, they're coming. Okay, they're coming. You. Everyone make perception checks. This is going to be an intellect roll. I'm doubt me, right? <laughs> you're very. <Aww. laughs> Cass, uh, you get to make a perception check. Yeah, everybody gets to make a perception check except for you, Hops. That's okay. Hops is having a good sleep right now. Ah, <laughs> I need it. Um, so uh, difficulty for this is going to be three. So you need a nine or better. All right, um, and it is an nine. intellect check. Mm-hmm. We get one for our contacts. Ah, great. That's right. So it's, it is sort of a hearing-based roll, but uh, it's, I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give it to you anyway. Thank you. Um, Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! Eighteen. Eighteen as well. Eight. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen. Oh! Wow. Wait, I just want to just do it just to see. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> so I really am not gonna. No, make you can't that. be left out. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to see. The if dice I tell the truth. <laughs> yeah, it's like go back to bed. Nineteen. Nineteen. Nineteen plus six. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then plus one. Nineteen before the plus one. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh. Okay. So twenty. So my, a 19 is a minor see. effect. Yeah. Um, all right, so so what'd you get, Anton? 12. 12, okay, cool. So everybody got it then. Um, so you hear in the distance, for those of you who rolled, who succeeded, you definitely hear the approach of what sounds like a hovercraft of some kind, one of the aerial vehicles. This is, uh, the, it, uh, the best way to describe it is sort of like a smaller hover jet. If you can imagine, again, as a reference point, um, think of like the hover, like the police units that were used in Minority Report. If you could think of something like that. So you kind of hear this, this distant sort of <laughs> as uh, turbine engines that are capable of hovering are kind of getting closer. Um, for those of you who rolled a 19, um, whatever's approaching is dual engine, so it's big enough that it probably can hold, uh, like an ambulance, for example, would be dual engined as it was coming into uh, the inner city areas. You've heard it before. Um, this one has a much deeper, sort of a guttural sound to the engine. Um, like it might be bigger than an ambulance. Dual engine still, but you hear this and it's uh, approaching. It looks like um, with, with the two 19s, I would say in the distance, you can actually see the glowing blue of a jet in, of dual jet engines and sort of a hovered down motion as it's coming closer to the convention area. But it looks like it's actually kind of, instead it looks like, it doesn't look like it's engaging the crowds at all. What you can see is the spec sort of circling and with the spotlight on, it does not look like it's marked as a police vehicle at all. Hmm. They're looking for us, for her. What? I think we have to like. How do you know that? They have to be right. This weird happens, and they're spotlighting. Yeah, and she's like they're looking for a person in a crowd full of people. We have to go now. She said they're coming, and that we need to get out of here. I agree. I think we need to get out of here. I take that. We're just gonna. We're just gonna leave her to die in the street by herself. No, we we need to take her with us. But we can't move her, right? We can't. Not even a little, like maybe we can put her on, her on the trunk. She, you feel her hand close around your hand, Luma. And she just says, it's all up to you now. You, can we, we can try to move you, we can, try, we can try to bring you with us, okay? And when you say that to her, you realize that even though she's looking at you, no one's, no one's there. Come on. Come on. Oya says a quiet little prayer. And her hand just slips, falls unceremoniously, just thuds against the concrete. And at about that point, you're all aware of a light 
shining in your area as this hover vehicle begins to the noise of it shakes you. Hops. And as you gasp. Um, I take her name tag. Okay. Um, Hops, as you gasp, your body tenses up immediately. You mm-hmm. feel like all of the muscles in your body seize up, and as this happens, your everyone's attention is momentarily diverted from this tragic moment to mm-hmm. jerking your heads over. You notice this hops literally from a prone position, just and just goes like Dracula, just <laughs> comes stuck so up without touching, <laughs> without touching the ground, and you see <laughs> bolts of electricity kind of just sparking off of her body. And not like you see in like cartoons, it's actual real, like they blink in and out of existence, little tendrils of like electricity trying to find conductors all around her. And you just. Lindy, Lindy, are you all right? You. What's happening? I don't know what happened. I, I don't know what happened. It, 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 everything was really bright and then I was down and what, what's are going you okay? on? You can move that. We need to go. We need to go. Can you walk? Can you move? Yeah, Lindy? yeah, but what's all this? What's happening? What's going on? Let's We're gonna have to figure that out on the way. Oh yeah, what do we do? Run. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I think we gotta run. Melty guy, can you move? <laughs> Melty guy, what? Melty? Who's Melty guy? You! you! Did you see what you did? You fell over, but you weren't that all was the way real? over. We have to go! Yeah, that was real. We gotta go right now. Big this thing is actually about over your heads now. Is there any darkness that we can kind of stealth into? Yeah, there yeah. is. So looking down this alleyway, um, in the opposite direction of the of the of the commotion that's happening in front of the convention center, you see about seventy feet, maybe eighty feet down, you see a dock area where a bunch of the trucks load in any supplies, any of the hover trucks that are like moving into. You know how cons always have that back area for food and whatnot. Yeah. You see that, and you see a bunch of robots doing their thing, like nothing has happened. Mm. And then another, I would say 200 feet down, it looks like the alleyway opens up into the next street, perhaps, that's behind the convention, or at least another driveway for where the parking structures are. But it's a good long run. All right. Which way? I flip my glow lights off. Yeah. The The light in my hood turns off. Okay. We gotta go, dude. Let's Which go. Which way do we go? Right, all right. And you hear on a speaker. Stop right there and identify yourselves immediately. Step away from the body. I went around. Who's talking? Uh, uh, no, I'm running. <laughs> I, 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 I go against the wall and... I follow Lima. Yeah. Um, make a perception check real quick. Everyone? Yeah, everyone. everyone. Uh, I'll set the difficulty of this is going to be five. Oh, shit. So you need a 15 or better on this. Um, I'll spend a level of effort. Initiative wouldn't help, right? No. I don't know what that means. 19. Nope. This is just perception. <gasps> yeah. yeah. I got a modified uh, five. I got a two. I'm, a, I'm slightly distracted. 16. I got a I'm a five as well. It's okay, Luma. I, I should have told you you're actually not making this check. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> um, so who, who beat who beat 19. 19? 19. 19. So the two of you... The two of you, everyone else is distracted, obviously, by the vehicle that's hovering overhead, shouting down at you all on the speakers, shining a, a glaring light down onto all of you. But the two of you briefly catch that as Luma throws herself up against the wall, just for a split second, her skin shifts to look exactly like the wall mm-hmm. she's touching. For a split second, <gasps> Luma vanishes in front of you and you see just the image of a a, a being in her clothes pressed up against the wall, capturing every detail, every piece of dirt. If there's a a piece of like stray spray paint, it appears across her face and just flutters away. Just, it's there and it's gone. Are you guys coming? Let's go. What the hell happened? We need to be secret. We need to to not let them see us. Be secret, be safe. They see us. (laughs) Hi! Then get out of the light! (laughs) So the light is filling up the alleyway, and at this point, as y'all are having this conversation, you see the doors (laughs) open on the back of this hover thing. Now, it makes sense. Y'all are kind of in shock. Everything is happening all at once. 
You're trying to decide on a course of action. There's a dead body at your feet. This event just took place. I just woke up. Your confusion in, 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 in action actually completely makes sense as everyone's like, run! Yeah. We need to run! What's going on? Like Everyone is kind of like, the confusion, it looks like they're seizing upon it as you're waking up because you watch as out of this carrier, this, this hovercraft that's above you, you see 12 figures in tactical gear jumping oh, out no. and you watch no. these quick little blue puffs of flame on their elbows as they come flying down from 60 feet above just goes and braces their fall and one by oh. one all 12 of these guys set down you don't have to make a perception check each one of them is in tactical gear they're decked out in full body armor do they have with, corporate logos what's that they are unmarked uh -oh. There's not a single logo on any of these guys. Nice. And they are full. Their masks are sheer mirror like facades. All right, in front I'm reaching of them. for something I can throw. Um, okay, I'll say the nearest thing. <laughs> As all of these guys hit the ground in front of you, you do notice that they are carrying what look like, in modern day, the closest thing I could uh, describe them as is essentially Uzis. You all know them as info, like short range plasma rifles. These are military issue. Do I see Cass grab something to throw at these guys? So what you see Cass do, Cass just, <sighs> you immediately react, Cass, and you reach out and you grab the nearest thing, you feel metal in your hands, and the rest of you watch Cass's fingers sink into the surface of a dumpster. <laughs> she just grabs it instinctually, and as you pull it closer to you, it moves without much effort. <laughs> And you, Cass, one-handedly just jerks this thing towards, you think you're holding what might be like a metal pole for a second as you've hit the rounded edge of this dumpster, but as you pull it towards- Throw this trash can lid! <laughs> All right. I don't probably say that. <laughs> um, so. Does she throw this? I'm we're about go. to find out. <laughs> we are shit. about to find out. Everyone get um, out of the way. They get yeah. the words, stop, out, and then you hear one of them say, holy shit, as oh, you hurl. It's me too. So, Cass. I need you to make a check. <laughs> I need you to make a, this is gonna be a strength check. It's gonna be a might check here. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> the difficulty, you're lifting a garbage dumpster with one hand and throwing it. So that's gonna be a, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a very high difficulty. That's gonna be a difficulty seven. So it's a 21 or better, so you're gonna have to spin, but you automatically get a free because you're super strength. You get two, so you drop immediately to seven, six, so you're five, so you need a 15 or better. Which, and you can spend effort on this if you want. Mm hmm Which would drop it further down to. This is so fun. Uh, a level four, which is difficult, uh, so that'll be a 12 or better. I mean, if she misses the target, that's fine. She threw a dumpster, that's awesome. Yeah, let's see how she does. Trash to the trash. Heard the trash people. Sorry in advance, everyone. No, this Don't is be awesome. sorry. Cass isn't sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you roll? An eight. Okay. Oh, no. So what ends up happening is Cass, you watch, boom, you hear holy shit come out of one of the guys in front and they scatter as you see Cass hand over shoulder. It looks almost comical. Watching this garbage dumpster get hefted up with one arm and thrown. Um, this thing sails wide and it doesn't hit any of them. It just cartwheels in a deafening clang of metal, smashing down the alleyway. Oh. And then you hear one of them go, holy shit, holy shit, open fire, open fire! Run! And now, okay. now we're in combat. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, crap. Um, can we still run from combat? Yeah, can we? Yes. Run! Um, but it's, it, guess what? It's, they're gonna... here's, here's something you, you're not used to because of Star Trek Adventures. Oh, gonna... We are now gonna do a straight up initiative check. Yeah. Okay. Ah! So. Um, I'm so sorry, guys. You, you get your initiative okay. in Star Trek Adventures, but in, in this one, it's gonna be, so everyone's gonna roll a d20 and it functions. So I'm gonna give you the difficulty level of these guards. Because I'm, I'm basically pulling, so the difficulty level of the NPCs and the opponents that I throw you at are the difficulty levels for everything. So, the difficulty level for these guys, they're straight up, it's gonna be familiar from our practice sessions, but they are difficulty level two. Yeah. Okay. These guys are minions. So, so you need a six or better to beat them on initiative. Oh, so you ought to, you ought to. Okay. All right. Wait, what? It's a, you they're a level six. two, so you need six or better. Yeah. Oh, you already, I ought to be. You already. You, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, you ought to beat them too. You can still roll it. Oh wait, I have, I'm skilled in initiative. Should Is we roll to see who goes it first does. amongst us? If you're skilled in initiative, that means that. the difficulty. Or I'm trained in initiative. If you're trained in initiative, that means the difficulty level of the roll will drop by one. So you need. Help me. So you need a three or better. That's what it's like. What did you roll? You rolled a one. GM intrusion. I get a GM intrusion. Uh, I just came out of a unconsciousness. Your fault. Oh shoot. Ooh. Okay, but that's sorry. Wait, wait. You're still Someone, correct. I have an XP from last time. Yeah, I, I can use you. it, right? Yes, you do. Yes. I have two XP. Of, the, of all of the things, though. Really? Yeah. Hold well, yeah. Go after yeah, them. Sorry. Save it. Uh -huh. I took you, but what? you can use it to power up later. And I don't yeah. Know. Okay, you're right. Cool. I'll just I'll just get hit by plasma fire. No big deal. Cipher system encourages you to spend the XP because you're going to be getting a lot of it during the That's game. Well, That's true. So keep I have that in two. Mind. But like, what if it's an attack and you reroll an attack? That's all. Oh. <laughs> Sam is the murderer. Can you roll? Can what? you use? Sam is the murderer. And can you use XP to uh, decline the GM intrusion? Yes. Yes. Uh, not if, not if you roll a one. So normally, oh. so here's Wait. how the GM intrusion works. At oh. any point, I can jump into the narrative and try to screw you. But if I do that, I have to award you with two XP, and you have to give one of those XP to one of the other players. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If you do not want that intrusion to happen, you can pay me one XP, and I don't get to intrude. But However, with a one. if you roll a one, it's a botch, and it's I get to jump in, and you can't stop GM intrusion. Yeah. <sighs> Ones how, in this game, we're back to ones that. being very bad. How do GM intrusions happen other than when we roll a one? Um, they're whenever I want. Oh, that's messed up. Yeah. So, <laughs> Um, okay, cool. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, Great. the rule book encourages, Cypher, Cypher System Rules encourages the GM to only do it once per player per game. And so I can't, okay, good. So I can't do it every then. round. I'll just I'm get it over with. Every I'm just round. lucky I didn't dump bring it on every head with the dumpster right, stuff. Well. I just got off a plane. Yeah, Let's bring yeah. it. Of course. Yes. All right, so let me get your initiative rolls. So, Aliza, what are you at? 12. 12? I do have a something something. A something something? In initiative. Dexterity. Oh, if you took the dexterity shift, Power then shift, you were yeah. trained in initiative, but you won anyway. Yeah, you yes. still won the yes. You only need to do so it. So Gina, what's your initiative roll? Oh, you oh, won I it on that. You didn't roll. Okay, mine. so. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I got a 12, so I beat it. Okay. Auto succeed. Auto succeed. That <laughs> That's I... terrifying. 13, so I also beat it. Okay. So you're all, all of you except for Bonnie. You're going first. Um, I'm still shocked, y'all. <laughs> um, yes, you just woke up. Yeah, literally. All right. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> all right, so because you guys won initiative first, it means that all of you guys are gonna need to go first. And the way initiative works in this game is, doesn't matter what you roll, if you if you want initiative over the villain, then you get to choose who gets to go first among you. You can pick, uh, let's let Sam go, and then Elisa can go, and then you can just wing it if you want. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so who would like to go first? I would like to go first. All right. What are you um, doing, Luma? So when I hear open fire, instant mask on, don't want anyone seeing my face. <laughs> All right, um, I'll give you that. Drop backpack off, rip it open, take out my paint canisters. I don't get to use them for something else today. Uh, grab my lighter. I'll let you set that up, but dropping, pulling that out, yeah. opening it up, pulling it out and readying that as a weapon, Yeah, you can use that next round for sure. But okay. this round, that's gonna be your action. Sure. Pulling that up. Um, okay, so rolling gracefully to the ground, just right back up, and as you pull the canister out, you're ready to wall. go. Oh, you're up so against the wall? So I'm just sliding right, against yeah. the wall and readying. All right, you're up. All right, who would like to go next? What are you doing, Anton? I just saw this person throw a dumpster. Yeah, yeah, you did. My <laughs> friend from childhood, uh, electrocuted me Sorry. with her body. Yeah, electrocution if you die. And now we're getting shot at. So I want to run. <laughs> yeah. And I have to choose now between these two people, which one do I want to try to uh, bring with me to, because she, again, she just threw a dumpster. She's, she's, she's an escalator. She escalates the situation. <laughs> I want to minimize that. And my friend is, impossible to grab onto and to touch. I could hurt myself, my fingertips are missing, but Lindy's <laughs> going through some stuff right now. So I'm gonna try to help Lindy and say, we have to go now, let's go, we gotta move. And try to like grab her shoulder or hand or something and then like move further down the alleyway. What uh, happens next? Yeah. <laughs> I'm enacting my GM intrusion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Why did I set this up for you to spike it? Great. <laughs> um, however, Hector, it wasn't your run to roll, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make you suffer for the GM intrusion. Okay. Um, basically, what happens as you reach over, you grab, you grab 
Lindy. Lindy, Lindy. Uh, hops. hops. The moment you you wrap your fingers around her, something crazy happens. Your instinct is immediately to get your friend out of here. The confusion sets in, and as you grab Hops, your fingers immediately just wrap around her like cords. Creepy, <laughs> creepy. <laughs> <laughs> this is so creepy. <laughs> and Hops, as all of this is happening, and shh, the arms wrap around you. All of a sudden, you feel. Okay, great. You guys hear the oh, no. humming of an electric electrical discharge coming. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> And you kind of seize up again, and your mouth explodes with electricity again, almost like it did when you first. Lightning bolt streaks out towards the sky, narrowly misses the hover machine, and Lindy, you seize up and fall back. Right out of your grasp, your hands immediately, she just slips away as you kind of grabbed her. Like you instinctively let go as this thing is happening. The event causes Hops to hit the ground, and you see you you are having a seizure. Okay. It is brought on by electrical currents flowing through your body right now. It, it your body is trying to compensate, but you are you are in a state of you are immobile right now. Oh yeah. So okay. what's yeah, so I'm gonna call basically I'm gonna say you don't get an action this round and you're gonna be laying prone. I rolled a one. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So you let go just in time as this electrical discharge goes off, and you see Cass is in the middle, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, Hops is in the middle on the ground, struggling through it. Interestingly enough, as you're hearing this, this vibration of this electrical current like coursing through her body, you see her fighting it, and just kind of. There's no pain, but you don't have control. Mm -hmm. Your muscles are kind of doing what they want to do right now, mm -hmm. and you're just trying to get that back. It's like those, like putting those, uh, like those ab. Things mm. and the, or like, machine, or the, yeah. the ones like at yeah. the physical therapist where it like mm. makes your muscles yeah, move. Like, yeah. You can't, yeah. Feel yeah. Later. You know what I'm talking about. Words. <laughs> um, so that's going to be your action for the round. Cool. Who's next? Who wants to go next? I have no idea what to do. You go. Uh, I, I, Cass instinctively looks to Oya and then just starts to throw herself between in front of everyone else and, hey, tin can dipshits! <laughs> have they landed yet? So they are on the ground right now, pulling, pushing themselves up off the ground and getting ready to open fire. They basically all jumped to the side. They split up as this dumpster went sailing between them and cartwheeled down the alleyway. So now one of them is holding their hel helmet, screaming, open fire, open fire, and it looks like everyone's about to pull themselves up off the ground to get into a firing position. <sighs> That's where they're at. They're about 20 feet away from you. Sorry, guys, Cass is an idiot. She runs no. straight at him and tries to get the first one she can disarm. Okay, you can... If you, okay, so you're gonna attempt to disarm? Actually, you could probably pull it off, considering yeah. <laughs> if this was any other, well, this was any other genre. <laughs> Reach for it, it's not breaking the gun. <laughs> All right, Whoops. so. Breaking um, the gun is fine. Okay. You are attempting a disarm, so the difficulty is gonna jump up a little bit. That's true. Um, I'm gonna jump the difficulty up by two as you're kind of try, try to grab this guy's weapon as he's coming up. He pulls it back to try to get it away from you. Difficulty originally was two, so now it's four. But you are attacking him. It is a might roll. So the difficulty drops back down to two. So you need a, <laughs> yeah. And it's an unarmed melee attack. That's correct. Which means it's technically a simple attack, which means it's one. You get to reduce it by one again. So, okay. so Amy, hmm. Cass needs a three or better. See if you can do it. <laughs> so Don't put that pressure sale. on this dice. <laughs> okay, oh, 10. It does not. 10. Right. Um, you all, again, watch Cass do something crazy. <laughs> As she charges forward, grabs this guy's weapon, he l brings it up, there's a split second where your heart stop. As you watch this guy level this gun, the dead center of Cass's chest, right before Cass grabs the gun, and there's a popping sound as the strap, the combat strap that, pull that was holding this weapon, not only to this guy's body, but in place for him to fire, is torn from the fiber as you jerk this weapon out of the guy's hand. And he just kind of, holy. <laughs> okay. For effect, you watch Cass just, the barrel just crunches down <laughs> in her palm as she just destroys the front of the plasma gun right in front of everybody. And there's a beat where nobody moves and they're just staring at her. They've just frozen for a split second. Next action. Whoa. Is it me, am I the only one left? Uh, no, I, I do too, okay. technically. But... Wait, do you? Do you, it, do you not? Have, I'm not. Okay. I'm like. Oh. I don't have anything either because Lacey doesn't have anything either. So if you don't know and any they, direct action. Well, so. 
But you can tell me what is Lacey feeling right now? What is their yeah. instinct? And I can So go. what Lacey is doing is curling up and just whispering help and thinking it on all frequencies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. Render assistance at this location immediately, you could say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> who, has op who has optics in their eyes? I broke mine. Uh, you broke yours. Visors are mm -hmm. on right now. Mm -hmm. No. Visors are on? Well, yeah, because I just turned my mask on. Everybody who is currently able to see augmented reality, everybody yeah. who is currently able to see into the net right now, your vision is flooded with the text help <laughs> all over your fields of vision for a <sighs> split second. And you hear this oh. like ringing sound in your ears. Um, as the uh. impulse, the words help explode. And for a few moments, you see a few of the guys in this crowd go, ah, and they immediately okay. grab their helmets. As you hear, help, 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 just like ringing out through all the technosphere. <laughs> um, now it's your action, Oya. I just am like, what is happening? I just want everything to is stop. It, so is Oya just in a state of complete confusion and bewilderment? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm overwhelmed. Um, this is too much. This oh, is that'll crazy. go well. Excellent. What you? I didn't see what you did, but like I didn't see you, it either. Don't and worry. You, and you, I'm normal. Okay, it's weird and gross. I'm, I'm just like <laughs> yeah. noodle finger. You're really yeah, you look like yeah. you look That's like the poor guy at the end of Robocop. And then my friend is in the kinda... middle of them and ah. crushing the guy. Ah. Um, in this moment, Oya, oh yeah, your mind is trying to grab a hold of anything that makes sense. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know those moments where they tell you to just breathe, to try to bring you back to the present so you can calm down? Ah, uh, yes. That instinctual safety net, that that Namaste. that run to that that place where you have to go, your 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 quiet place where you just need a moment to think. Um, everyone around you immediately, as it's all happening, goes. <laughs> and oh yeah, you're just. Everything around you, Oya, is moving like this. You're even looking at the ripples, which you could not see first, coming out of the jet engines of the hovercraft above you guys. Um, one of these guys whose weapon was just torn free, you're looking over at Cass, who's looking down at him, and she almost appears frozen for a second, but you notice the guy she tore the weapon away from has recoiled in terror and is in the middle of falling backwards. And it's just slightly faster than bullet time. Ah, uh, I'm asleep. I must be asleep. Wake up, wake up. No, this isn't, this isn't real. What? What would Oya like to do in this particular moment? Um. Run to Cass. Okay. Just like be next to Cass. Cass, you pull the thing away and the guy goes, holy sh, and as he's falling back, Oya's just there. You have no idea how she got there, but she's just standing next to you suddenly. Wait, and wait. As, as this guy hits the ground in front of you, you notice this red glowing halo around both of her hands and her eyes look iridescent mixed with sort of a reddish hue, like like a purple, almost. And she's just looking at you in concern. Are you she okay? was not there a moment ago. And this guy hits the ground, and as soon as he hits the ground, he slows again. And begins to try to backpedal, slowly. <laughs> Are you, what? You were, what did you just do? No, I don't know, it's. Everything's so weird. It's their turn. Here oh. come. They should run away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, they should. Now's the time to find out how well they're paid. Oh. <laughs> Probably very well. Yeah. Better they, you, what you notice is none of them opened fire on their turn like they were originally going to. Mm -hmm. But instead, you see them all scrambling backwards. 
and one of them grabs one of their friends and starts dragging him back um, that had ducked aside from this dumpster as it folded over, and you hear one of them, not shouting, but saying to the other team members, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? And at that point, Lacey, one of them kind of looks in your direction and sees you holding a canister, <gasps> sees you holding the thing that says Callisto 6, sees that it's empty, sees that it's been open, looks back down at the body of the doctor and goes, holy shit, she opened it. Base, we need orders. Let's go. Yeah. Six of them, they've come into contact with the energy. No. Base? Base? What do we do, Sergeant? Shh. And then one of them just goes, you just hear one of them go, what do you mean, what do we do? Fucking kill them! And that's when we're gonna open fire again. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say that the super actions that you all took this turn, being that they are the first actions of this nature ever seen in this world, uh. I'm going to give you guys another round. Okay. I'm going to say that these men, even though they're well-trained. We're stunned. They're a little stunned from having a dumpster thrown at them, from watching somebody go into bullet time, from seeing the electricity ex explode out of somebody's mouth. And there's also the fact that the hover craft that they were on has begun to leave. Uh -huh. oh. um, Lacey, you hear in your head, among all the signals, saying confirmed, 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 over and over as this machine just <gasps> begins to fly off. Um, <laughs> yeah, you better run! <laughs> so, you guys get initiative. Um, roll you're, again? you're gonna have to roll again. Okay. Um, difficulty is two. Well, <laughs> except if you were a Numa or a cat. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Finally. Not this time, kids. <laughs> mm. so, That's a big old three. You need uh -huh. a six or better. Okay. Okay. Got it. Who who didn't get a six or better? Oh, okay. Like, oh, that so. kind of makes sense. So the two of you guys. You think I'm not much of a combatant? All right. Because <laughs> that'd so, be right. <laughs> so at this point, they're now acting like cornered animals. This round, there's going to be a hail of blaster fire, plasma bolts flying down this alleyway from their guns. So whatever you're going to do. Make it good. We've given you a round for your characters to sort of realize that they're doing shit they should not be able to do. Now, you two are cornered animals. <laughs> they just said, fucking kill them. Yeah. And that is now their objective this round. You have initiative if you got six or better. What are you doing? Who goes first? Who would first like to go first? Have... You're in danger and that's not cool. Uh, I've s slightly yeah. snapped out of it because you're standing right next to me now. Uh, can I take the crawling guy and throw him at the others? Yes. Mm -hmm. Bowling kids. <laughs> We're going bowling. <laughs> How do I do that? Much like you Pick did the up. dumpster. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Just different trash. <laughs> Just different yeah. levels of trash. So, <laughs> that might have been the best snort laugh I've ever heard out of you, Bonnie. <laughs> it's a slight delirium. I want that as my freaking ringtone. Oh, that can't be done. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. So, um, somebody so, it, so, Cass, <laughs> um, you're gonna grab this guy and you're gonna use him as a throwing weapon. Yeah, I wanna sort of grab him by the, the belt or whatever, like, and just toss him at the others. So what I would say here is, I'm gonna, it's, no, it's really not a point to doing this, but I am gonna jack up the difficulty by one mm. to sort of even this out. So it's gonna be a difficulty three so you'll need a nine or better. You immediately drop that by two because you're cast. So you need a three what? or better. Is this still a and heavy then, attack? Um, I'm not gonna give this as a light attack, no. Okay. I'm gonna say this is a medium attack because you're using a, a human <laughs> as a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually might call this a heavy attack, really, um, which won't change the difficulty at all. So you just need a three or better. Okay. Tell me what you get. Hey, Please tell me you rolled a re -roll one. Reroll that. Re yeah. No. Oh, yeah. no. Oh. Use an XP. She rolled a one. Yeah. Use an XP. Do you that's have a, an XP? That's a natural no. one. Oh you have an XP. man. That's a net bad. This would be great if we were that's playing that. Natural bad. Natural bad. I think that's what we're so used to rolling. You know, get an XP. Where do we have one? I'll give you one of mine. New it's, die. It's oh, new one. game. The it's game where one. I don't want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New game. 
Yeah. Roll yeah. dice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this dies in timeout. We didn't yeah. bring a dice. All right. So just mark it down in your character. Timeout. So you oh, yeah. Spent the. If you spent your. Uh, is, who's I getting... didn't. It's too much fun. I'm sorry. Oh! Okay. Good choices. Yes. Right. Oh, good choices. Unless it kills the stupid terror, but doesn't. Please. It's oh. not. But I'm going to okay. give him an attack on you. Great. Um, this guy watched you do what you did to his partner. He watched you throw the dumpster, and as you go to move on him, he, in a pure fit of panic, throws himself backwards. Flips his gun to full auto and just goes like. Oh, it's so I grabbed a different guy. Um, okay. Which, yeah. Oh no, which mm -hmm. guy are you grabbing on the ground? I meant the guy who was crawling away from me. Crawling but away from you. It okay. Then we'll do this. Okay. We'll do this. As you reach down to grab the guy away from you, you didn't see what he was doing, but as you approach, he goes, "No, no, no!" You hear ripping of Velcro, and a gun comes up from out of his Ooh. side holster that you yeah. didn't see. The black on black, you didn't see that in that tactical gear. He pulls it up, and at point blank range, he opens fire. Okay, I go next. <laughs> Um, Great so I need you to make a defense roll. Oh. Okay. Oh no. Um, Not with that day. That yeah. You did. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah. defense roll. So normally, okay. So normally the difficulty here is is just, it's a it's a difficulty two because he's a difficulty two NPC. However, he is at point blank range. And you roll the one. So I'm gonna double it, and you need a twelve or better. Okay, I normally difficulty is would. Four. Uh, I'm specialized in speed defense actions. So you are right, terrifying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Okay, you're the okay, so you're 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 trained and specialized, which drops the difficulty back down to two. Oh yeah. So you need so <laughs> you, you need a six or better. So, oh my god. Fifteen. <sighs> there comes a time in every character that has super strengths life, where they have to discover if they are in fact. Bulletproof. Yeah. It's always a stressful thing to have to learn whether they are or aren't. And I think we're about to learn right now. I think I dodged it. <laughs> oh, okay, great. We might, we might Good. roll we'll the 15. To, mm -hmm. We could postpone that. At point blank range, he should have you, Cass. At point blank range, there should be nothing you could physically do to get out of the way of these blast of these plasma bolts leaving that chamber. Leaving the energy cartridges in the handle and exploding into your chest. When the gunshots go off and all of you watch in terror as you think Cass is about to die in front of you. When the gunshots have finished going off and you hear <laughs> three shots, Cass is doing this and there's a scorch mark just in the top of the fluff of your collar. <laughs> How she got out of the way, you have no idea. And neither does the guy who's staring at you. You can only imagine the expression that might be on his face behind that mirror-like mask that he's wearing. But again, you see he is fro his hand is doing this after he's opened fire. Even I after suggest you run. <laughs> so who's next? You said you wanted to, right? Do you want to go? Yeah. Um, I just want to, I, I want. So think of it like this way, because Oya doesn't know exactly what she can do. Exactly. So <laughs> yeah. the way, so yeah. let me give you this tool to use here, Eliza. So think of it like this. Your power is going to manifest by your motivation and your okay. desire to get to execute something. <laughs> if your desire is to protect a friend or if your desire is to stop them, okay. your power will manifest and I, we'll find it on your sheet. I want to get us all out of this alleyway away from these people. Okay. So um, look at your sheet real quick and tell me your power list. So you have... The special abilities? You, you have the onslaught ability, right? Oh, yes. What, what do you have? Wait. I'm really bad at this, y'all. You know. No, that's okay. We're all beginners. It's our first day with superpowers. Yeah, it's yeah. your first day with superpowers. We're at the new job. We're so and so for the audience watching at home, oh. some of the superpowers that we created here, um, we use the flexibility of the cipher system to sort of create our own. So, for example, we use the cipher system to build a power set for both Anton and Oya. So, Aliza, your powers. There's nothing you could really do to immediately get your friends out of here. Mm -hmm. Right now, your it? options are incapacitate these people to stop them from killing you, or running and hoping you don't get shot. I'd like to just neutralize the threat. Okay. Mm. So then I would say onslaught somebody. Okay. Um, <laughs> so you can you can target the one that just tried to shoot Cass. You can target somebody fresh. Um, whoever has their Who's the closest person who has their gun up? Or? Um, he's about 10 feet away, and he's actually the guy that started screaming, fucking kill them. Okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's take care of him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he seems to be the one a little more focused on seeing you all dead. So, go ahead and make your attack roll. I believe it's in an intellect skill. Yes. So, and you have, you are trained in Onslaught, so. Yes. 
Um, the difficulty here is two. So you are trained, so the difficulty is gonna drop to one. So you need a three or better on your D20. I love fighting minions. What'd oh, you roll? No. Oh no! my god! No me? way! That's no, three! Y'all turned one. into me! We had that, like, <laughs> 19, 18, 18, okay. 19, and now one. I want you all to go get in a corner and <laughs> look in the mirror and repeat over and over, I'm not playing Star Trek <laughs> Adventures anymore. I'm not playing Star Trek Adventures anymore. Our brain is playing Star Trek. Good. One's How do you feel about bad. those backwards now? <laughs> Ooh, oh, no. Hey, this um, is our first this is the day best our episode to roll all ones on. It's true. No this joke. Is the best. Gina is dead straight up <laughs> yeah. telling the truth. It's I'm in it. It's, it's mini. We're supposed yes, to be quite and bad okay. at all of this. Yeah. Um, this is awesome. That's true. Yeah. So, Oya, oh yeah, what does Onslaught do? Uh, it does. Mine specific. It does. Yeah. Please? It does baseline four uh, physical oh. or uh, two mental, I believe. Where's that book? Or is it uh, five and three? Oh, yeah. I have a page number. What's the page Yeah, no, four and two. So okay. you can do the physical one that does uh, that armor can soak, or you can do the mind well, slice. It is only two damage. I shall but... be I shall be merciful. I will do the physical one. Okay. <laughs> because you onslaught yourself. Oh um, great! <laughs> as you you watch as Eliza summons up this power, Oya just four points of damage. Ouch. Physical okay. damage though is significantly reduced. Correct. Only if you have armor. Oh, which they which do. Oya does not. Oya doesn't. I have light mental. armor. Oh, oh, that's right, you are wearing a leather bit. jacket, so you're gonna reduce it by one, you'll take three. So, Oya. <laughs> you have this. <laughs> Just blew up your stuff. Oya. Okay. Oya, your instinct is immediately to protect your friends. You don't know what's going on or how it's how it's happening, but as you you want to act on that impulse. Now, normally, that's a simple action of grabbing somebody and pulling them out of the way, yeah, or yeah. jumping in front of the danger. Yeah. Whatever's happened to you is reacting to those motivations. It is reacting beyond the normal means of control. It's like a new limb on your body that you've never used before because it leaps in front of you and reacts as you react. It's almost like another part of yourself, like a triggering event that just takes place It goes into fight or flight. And without even meaning to, you all watch as time or space around Oya begin to ripple. Oya's hands glow. Again, that halo effect around her, her fingertips. And you hear, and there's a, an explosion of energy as you go sailing backwards. Whoa. And you watch her freeze in the air. Whoa. Whoa. Wrong and then way. accelerate right back up into normal time and collapse onto the ground. And you're gonna take three points of might damage. Oof. As you're knocked three points Oof. away. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, sorry, 10 feet away. Yeah. Okay. I, I think so. Who's next? Um, well, either one of us. Uh, <laughs> well, first of all, uh, the dick face over there was looking at you when he specifically said, Yes, he was. Uh, Kill them all. Yes, he was. So, uh, and now that you don't have protection up front, I'm my, my need to disappear in this moment is finally overcome, and I'm able to shake the fear out of my body to make myself move. Okay. And um, I just start somersaulting straight for that guy as like tucked and as tight and as hidden as I can so he doesn't see me coming. Like a tiny little black cannonball, <laughs> like uh, going towards him, uh, okay. staying along the wall so he can't see me um, and just like hiding. And I'm going to uh, try to light him on fire. Um, so you're- Is, you, it, so is it you're, a movement and an action or like what's the- deal? Now remember you have, don't, uh, is it you? It, it's okay. me that but can you move. Can still roll for it. Yeah. Yeah. So you can you can make a, a roll for this. Okay. And you have um, it, and it is a uh, it is a quickness roll. So it's going to be so. I have speed, stealth, movement, acrobatics. She's already specialized in movement. Yeah. yeah. So you can you, you can make a speed roll, and I believe okay. the difficulty is uh, three. Is that right? I think it's a straight up. I would say let's see, to move and act. So we'll just go ahead and house rule this. We'll just say it's a standard difficulty of three. Okay. So it's down to one. Down to one. So it's down to one. So make your roll. And I believe this. Thank goodness. Does this not does this not require effort? To, to I believe it requires effort. No? no. You can just do it. Oh, but you run the risk of. Right. You might just fail the roll and not get there. Right. Okay. So. But um, so Luma. Yeah. Your your intention is to flip and to stay compact and small and hard to hit and get to him as quickly as possible. Yeah. Um, your body moves 
at the same speed as your mind. And for those of you who have already been witnessing amazement here so far, you watch as Luma uses the side of that wall, meaning to cartwheel towards this guy, ducking and running, ends up looking like a spider as she runs alongside the wall. Think of Trinity in the Matrix, as Luma just tears down the side of this wall, running alongside of it, leaping off of it, rolling to the ground into a somersault, coming right up in front of this guy. And he... And up if, into the face. If you can imagine a camera shot of this guy's face, that mirror glass right in front of him, and a ball of fire slowly racing towards Ooh. him as he lowers his gun, make your attack roll. What is... I'm gonna say this is an improvised weapon, but it okay. would be considered light. You're not yeah. exactly wielding anything big. And so, I'm specialized. And so you really, so here's the thing. Practiced. You're specialized. Practiced in it. You're, you're practiced. But you have a, do you not, you have a dex, I, I believe you have. Uh, no. No? No, it's just mm -hmm. a standard minus one for a light weapon. Okay, cool. So then to hit this guy, you need to roll a three or better. Okay. 12. Twelve. Woo! Well, whatever this he's wearing. Minions on fire. <laughs> whatever, is, whatever he's wearing is flame resistant because he does not catch up on fire. However, apparently, from the angle you were attacking him at under, under. the helmet, Ooh. his chin was not protected. Yeah. And in Ooh. fact, that ball of flame just went up into his helmet. Ouch. <sighs> turning the inside of his helmet into a ball of fire for a split second. I instantly think of what that feels like. Yeah. Um, and my face gets hot. Ah, he screams as he goes hurling backwards, and he goes, grr, grr. he starts, drops his gun and starts trying to pull at this, but you can see smoke coming out from underneath the helmet as he's desperately trying to get this thing off of him. Get it off me, get it off me! I think we just created our first arch enemy. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna say that did, for ingenuity's sake, um, he, he sent a ball of fire into his helmet. I mean, it was a burst, but I'm gonna say, well, let's do, I'll say light weapon damage. Okay. Let's say he takes two points of damage. Okay. So light weapon, but uh, I'm gonna say he's gonna take another point of damage next turn because it's fire. Yeah, So it tends um, to linger, the he was, pain. He was burned. All right. My turn, I haven't gone yet. Oh, that's right, you got initiative this round, so you're, mm -hmm. I, 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 I finally get control of myself. You, yeah. Uh, but I, um, I'm, I'm seeing what's happening, mm -hmm. and uh, all I want, I'm assuming like all my muscles are just on fire, and like I just I gotta keep moving, and like I, I feel like everything, the energy inside of me is just uh, probably making. You me know those little... moments when you're just so hyped up on caffeine. Yep. And Bonnie, you and I, our ADD manifests the exact same way. Exactly. You know what this feels like. Yeah, I You're do. Just, That's exactly what I was like. Yeah. What would Lindy be feeling right now? Uh, I. <laughs> you at your best slash worst. Exactly. <laughs> Ready I'm to just go. like, to where, uh, and, and because um, Lindy Hops actually has a, a skill, she's trained in martial arts. Mm -hmm. So she uh, does know how to fight and defend herself. Yep. She's pissed. Uh, and I'm just gonna start running and wanting to punch something. Now, if I remember correctly, you move incredibly effing fast. I can, I have fast as a special ability so I can move a distance and take another action in the okay. same round. So there's a guy with a gun pointed at Castell. Yeah. Um, there's a dude trying to get his helmet off and the rest of the squad looks very uncertain, but they're raising yeah. their, their guns to fire next round. Yeah, okay. I'm, I, it's mostly just, I, I'm just scared and I don't know what's happening. And so I'm just gonna run and just basically just like, leave us alone. Like just okay. go to. So, you, so you, you're just gonna pick somebody at random? Uh, probably, uh, who's, who's the one that's most threatening right now? Like that I feel like needs to go. Is there's there, really not there's a, no one threatening him right now, correct? Not, not the moment. Okay. You just see a, basically a firing squad is gonna form this round and next round they're gonna open, or they're, they're on their action, they're gonna open fire. There's no one really to single out at this point. Okay. The one guy who's got his head, his helmet just got lit up. He's fine. And then the other <laughs> one, but um, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna go for the first guy in front. Okay, yeah, you just run up to the first guy you see. Um, so what you all witness is, as all of this craziness is happening all at once, there's again, a static popping sound as Hops goes from point A to point B almost faster than eyes can follow. It's not super speed, but it is fast. 
clears a distance of 30 feet and gets in this guy's face in a moment. I'm also specialized in running, so it helps. You see like flicks of electricity exploding sparks popping off of her heels. As she clears that distance instantly, the guy in front of her doesn't actually register that she's there by the time she reaches him for the attack. Um, and Anton, you were standing right next to her when this happened. So as you kind of let go with her, she gets back up going, <laughs> and she's gone. And you turn and watch her as she clears that distance and gets in front of this guy. The sparks just flying off of the edge of her heels. Um, go ahead and make your attack. All right, what's Hops. the difficulty? Difficulties too. All right, uh, I get a negative specialized... one difficulty because it's a light weapon myself. Yeah, but you're also trained in martial arts. I'm also trained in martial arts, so. You do not have to roll for this if you do not want to. I mean. You're gonna get an auto hit on this guy. I'm mad. If you want to, oh, you can. There's a 25% chance that you'll do some kind of increased damage. 14, okay. I didn't hit him by the way. Um, That'd so have been bad what, if I rolled the wood. So <laughs> now you have your abilities as well? Uh, Yes, so shock is my ability. So I'm right. assuming that the energy inside of me is going to yep. be released when I do this. So and how much damage is that? Six. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> um, again, that mm. ear piercing popping sound of electricity as Cass goes up, or I'm sorry, <laughs> Hops goes up, and the impact of this, of your fist on the cross of the guy's helmet, mm -hmm. causes a, that electrical discharge. He leaves the ground and crashes into the guy behind him. Does Both of them like crumple to the ground. You, it, it looks like for a split second, it looks like a, 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 like a shock of lightning just hit this guy in the face. And he collides with the guy behind him. Um, the entire alleyway lights up like it's the middle of the afternoon. Like a blink, pop, and then it's gone again. Um, <sighs> you stop for a second. Not even realize, it just takes you a moment to realize that you're actually standing 30 feet from where you were standing just a moment ago, and the guy you just hit across the face, your knuckles have small wisps of smoke coming up as there's a guy on the ground with small wisps of smoke coming up from just underneath his chin, <laughs> and impacted right here on his chest. Um, that's your action. <laughs> Was anybody else? You two, we're on the other side, you're on the other of, other side of it. They open fire. Yep. I need everyone to make a defense roll. Um, the difficulty here is two, so six or better. And speed defense lowers that to? Yeah, so Speed defense will lower that uh, by autopass. one. So, autopass. what's that? If autopass. the difficulty is two, then it's auto pass. Okay. They, can't, they cannot hit Luma. Wait. <laughs> they simply cannot hit Luma. <laughs> auto, what is? You have speed defense as well? I have speed defense. So then it'll drop by one? And then I have might defense? Does that make sense? Nope. Oh, no, no, wait, no, you have no, no, an no. inability. It's a speed of, it I have, speed. Yeah, that's right. If I have the dexterity shift, then the yes. Speed defense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dexterity shift will lower it by one as well. Okay. So you need, so for those, so for you and Bonnie, it, the difficulty is gonna be three or better. Okay. The difficulty drops to two. Uh, or I'm sorry, to one. To one. So okay. three or better. Mm -hmm. All right, so who's, go ahead and make your rolls and tell me if you got them. All right. Got it. Got it? Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ooh, failed. Oh, no! no! All right. Oh, this is gonna go perfect. No! Hit the squishy. Hit the squishy. <laughs> Are you Hit trying to kill squishy. me? It would be so stressful to be like, play D and D with you if you're a wizard. I'd be like, no, no, don't let our wizard go in. I do okay. I outlive everyone when I play a wizard. So, Lacey, you're gonna take three points of might damage. Um, no. The blaster bolt, the, the, these plasma shots do not actually hit you. They explode all around you. Yeah. Um, it looks like they're in a panic. Well, I, th so the way I do it is I'm, I'm kind of cinematic about it. Um, I, if you guys are taking physical damage, so th you're on the damage track, you get three points on the damage track, and the damage track is enacted every time you hit zero in one of your pools. So if you hit zero in a might pool, you check one off the damage track because now you're winded. You've been smacked up a little bit. That I would describe as you took a grazing blow or you've been hit. Mm -hmm. Hit the zero of the second pool, your speed drops to zero, you've been messed up. You're Rocky in the final round of, with Apollo. You've been messed up. Um, and then when you hit zero on that third track, there are no resurrection spells. Yet. In Callisto 6. So they just all missed us, correct? There are there are Except. shock paddles and there is. Yeah. So, so, so back to the part where I get hurt. So back to the part where you get hurt. Um, so that's our rules. I have a night 
might pool of nine. So that's so a third of that is gonzo. So that that is a that is a quick explanation of how this works. Got it. So to describe so to describe you getting hit, not getting hit, um, everyone is able to get out of the way. It looks like the shots from these trained people um, are panicked. They've watched even 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 you, Oya. Even though you didn't actually physically injure somebody, what's happened to you is enough to send everybody into a panic. Everybody is panicking at this point as the impossible is happening in front of them. And the gunfire lights up the alleyway and makes a ruckus. There's no way people cannot hear this from a mile away. Just like normal gunshots, they are really loud. The high intensity popping sound and the smell of burning air as these plasma bolts lance out. The temperature in the alleyway jumps by about three degrees as everybody opens fire in a panicked spread. Um, they get dangerously close to you, Lacey, and they explode right off of the sides of the wall as heat sparks shower down on top of you. You definitely see Lacey almost get shot to hell. Um, you shot her. <laughs> You, it's hard to say. It is literally like a firing squad, firing squad exploding. These these bolts hitting everywhere. Um, congratulations! Nobody really got shot up this turn. We got one hit. We are into the next round of initiative. All going down. Into the roll again? We're not going to have a, oh, another roll off. We're oh. just going to go straight into it. So the first roll was to the first roll. I was allowing a, a re roll of initiative to um, to uh, to re roll after the botch on the initiative roll. So I, I initiated combat again. Would you guys, if you want, yeah. I took, so what I did is I'm having you guys not roll again. Okay, no sure, 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 sure. Same, same. Typical rules say we keep the order after the first one, so that you're just saying that's happening now, right? Yes, okay. so yeah, the rules, the way it goes is, is at the first round of combat, what's up? Uh, so we failed the roll, so we act after the NPCs though, yeah? Yeah. We still got actions. Oh, I'm sorry, yes, you still have actions. Thank yeah. you for reminding me. But to, 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 just so you all know, for the next round, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're gonna keep initiatives, because that's, that's for the sake of speed, that's the way the game usually works. So, but yes, but now it is now it is gonna be Lacey, and it is going to be Cass. Oh, Anton. Anton. I'm sorry, oh, Anton, that's right. Last turn it was Cass. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Noodle, yeah, he has noodle fingers. Um, how, w give us a layout a little bit of the spatial relations right now. Where is everyone? So you are standing back to where um, where Hops was originally laying down at, and then she was resurrected. And went so away. you're about thirty feet away from the combat zone. Okay. Okay. Um, they are all really pretty much in point blank of the combat zone at the moment. Um, not too far away from you is Lacey, and uh, adjacent from you right now, um, sitting up and picking herself up off the ground is Oya, who's looking a little confused at the moment, but also glowing vibrantly. Who is the closest person to me? Um, the closest would person to you right now is probably, actually, I would say Oya? it's about equal distance, Lacey and Oya. Okay, well, I just saw Lacey get shot to shit. Yeah. So I'm gonna go and check on them and see what's happening. So I am, uh, and I also just like dodged. It didn't get shot as well, right? Like I, what? So what the way I, I would describe it with you, Anton, is when those blaster bolts came down, when, the, when all that hot energy was just blasting down the alleyway, you were literally, <laughs> as you ducked, your body went <laughs> One of the blaster bolts actually plink, grand, glances off you, and you don't really feel any particular injury. Okay. Can I stop for a second and look at the scoring marks on your arm, but you're fine. You see the skin literally just went <laughs> uh. This is cool. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so I'm gonna try to revert back to my regular, uh, I guess, form, and then start walking over to Lacey, who has avoided being shot, but has still been damaged in some way. You're standing in front of Lacey after one step. Are you okay? Are you all right? He shot at me. Uh, Lacey, just so you know, what you witnessed as, as he approached you was his foot and you step 14 feet right over to Lacey. And you're standing right in front of them. He shot at me. <laughs> we, need to, we need to get out. We need to what? leave, I know. Okay, we need to go. Uh, okay, um, we should keep heading down towards this alleyway, right? And then I'll, I'll go try to get everybody else? Yeah, let's get everybody together. Okay, go, and I guess I'll cover you. Okay. All right. Um, Okay, cool. Now I'm going to turn my attention towards the the, the firefight okay. and try to head over there to collect people. Really, with my main priority being hops. Okay. See if I can pull her away from combat and then get everybody else as well. Um, okay. Hops, we gotta go. <laughs> so as you reach out to hops, you realize 
you're about, uh, from here I'd say about 15 feet away from Hops. Hops, we gotta go! You're touching Hops' shoulder. <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> You're all watching as <laughs> Anton's <laughs> arms reach out and touch Hobbs. Hobbs, we gotta go! And then you realize, whoa. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh my sure. god, he's stretchy. He's stretchy. <laughs> what is that? Um, Lacey, what are you doing? Um, can you give me a massage right there? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Come back. <laughs> we need to get out of here. Uh, okay, make your roll. Yeah. What's the difficulty? Uh, well, it's not going to be the same as it normally is because y'all are literally just discharged from your moment of exaltation where you get your superpower. So I'm going to set the difficulty for this at three. Okay. Is that laughable for Lacey? Um, no, I. if I don't expend a level of effort, I have to roll. Okay. I expend a level of effort. All right. Um, so in the distance, Lacey, you just kind of, you're watching this thing fly away and you just go, come back, we have to go. <laughs> and you see this thing off in the distance, stop, <laughs> and then just. So the rest of you see this thing coming back. It's coming back! back. <sighs> oh, and no. you see, confirmed, ETA, 42 seconds. Our hmm. ride will be here soon. Um, and we have to stop there because we're actually past our break. Oh, no. <laughs> we just started playing. I know. I feel like uh -huh. it just went by. Like it was just like combat. Yeah, combat, combat like man. Combat lasts a while. <laughs> Happens when you don't just hit someone with a crash. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you don't drop the enemies all with one crutch strike. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, awesome. when we come back, we'll wrap up this scene. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. We might and keep rolling once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see what happens. Um, so stay tuned, guys. Um, and also, before we go uh, jump off to break, we'll be gone for about 10 minutes. And in that 10 minute time, um, hop over to the Monty Cook Kickstarter and give it a check out. Um, and thank you again for Monty Cook for uh, sponsoring Yay, us. Monty Your Cook. best game ever. I think it ends tonight. They might be actually in the final like few minutes. Oh, wow. Um, but oh, if not, right. like uh, if it's still going, uh, give them a check out. You'll really like all the game supplements that they've supplied. And mm. we will be back in about 10 minutes. So don't go anywhere. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah. Uh, welcome back to Los Angeles 2119. We are in the middle of an alleyway where a bunch of mysterious black clad tactical mofos <laughs> with weapons have tried to mow down our heroes. Stormtroopers, <laughs> mm -hmm. they always miss. You're all trying to figure out what the hell is going on, what has happened to you. Um, Let's just jump right the hell back into mm. this. Um, okay. So, where we left off. I called a lift. You called a lift. <laughs> There's a sky Uber headed towards you guys right yeah. now. Um, but we don't know that. <clears throat> no, right I now. I said our ride will be here in 42 seconds. <clears throat> I hear you from where I was. I probably didn't hear probably. you. You tell me. Okay. I'm kind of uh, quiet. I will let you decide yeah. if you heard that or not. When I'm going to go with you? no, I'm You're freaking out. Far away. <laughs> We're all freaking out. I'm going out. back yeah. one. I, but I, but like, like, oh, this yeah. way. Uh, yeah, we probably had an uplink. You probably heard me. Okay. I feel as if it's more likely that we saw the ship coming mm -hmm. back than heard the announcement. You definitely Lacey, saw it coming so, back. So yeah. that's yeah. scary? Are we scared? That's good. I'm scary. response to you. I'll let you decide. I think I'm um, just on the ground, right and I heard it, but I didn't connect It'll the It'll be thoughts. here in 42 seconds. So I'm just kind of like. Last I just action. said it's coming back, and you said yeah. that. Um, so the am last I able action? to still attack someone? Um, oh, yes. Well, I was the bottom of the round. You were the bottom of the round. So we're going to start over, top of the round. Oh, um, Oh wait, actually it's, mm. yeah, yeah. So top of the round is going to be whoever wants to go first in that in that uh, bracket. People who don't lose at things. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> you just put your hands yeah. on my shoulder. I said, what the hell? And then I see the thing coming back, what the hell? And now what <clears throat> the hell, what do we do? Um, <laughs> well, if no one goes. You tell me it's your initiative. Do you want to uh, call I mean, that wanna we're do? doing this in any order? You can do this in any order you want on your rounds. That's Anybody who's one initiative right now can go in whatever order they choose. Who wants to go first? Okay, closest person to me, the closest Am I person to you is the guy on the on the ground trying to pull his helmet off of his head. Okay. Um, I'm, he's about. I imagine I about used up all away. of my spray paint, so I'm going to bash my spray can into his glass face. Okay. Um, I am going to give him. He's going to get an armor rating reduction to the damage you're about to do to him. Okay. Um, I'm just. This is just anger. He <laughs> shot at my friend. But okay, slamming that fair. helmet into his burned face yeah. probably would not. That's true. Feel good. I'm Actually, just you know what? Slamming it into his burnt let's, flesh. Let's make this fun. Let's see what you roll. <laughs> okay. So the difficulty is two. 
Difficulty, Difficulty is two, two on this, yeah. Six or better. Uh, but does my practice with that doesn't reduce? No. So no, you, you do a, yeah. Okay. I'm considering this a light weapon. Yeah. Yeah, so the difficulty will drop down to uh, one, so you need a three or better. The last one is also a light weapon, because you set him a light. What <laughs> 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 you did there, Sam. It's just better than a three, you said? Yep. Five. Five. Woo! Okay. Right. <laughs> Five is indeed better than three. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, um, so uh, light weapon, so two points. You just bring it down. By the way, just to keep everyone reminded, so you can spend three points of effort to drop a difficulty. You can also choose to spend three points of effort so that when you hit, you do three points of damage. You can clock somebody good if you throw effort into your damage. You can choose one or the other. Uh, so just so you all know. Effort with uh, which pool? With might? Or? It would be a might pool spend. Oh, okay. Um, now, um, if you didn't spend effort on the roll, you can spend that effort for the damage. But you could do it for free if you have edge, correct? You get a discount. So if your edge is one, yeah. then it only takes two. Got if your edge oh, is two, right. it only it's takes three. one. And if your edge is three, then you get a free one. Got it. Got it. Which <laughs> means when Cass gets a full like l three levels of edge and strength, they're going to oh, be doing no. terrifying amounts of damage with the, wow. with her fist. It's going to be a little outrageous. Cool. Cass, <laughs> the new Rue. <laughs> Cass, the new Rue. Yeah, yeah. Are you looking yeah. out to bring out the Rue? And you can you? choose. I'm going to spend it. For your melee, right? Uh, I'm not sure. Might is for melee, yes. You can usually choose, I think, if it's melee, whether it's speed or might. Uh, yeah, depending on what it is. Oh. In this case, it's a bludgeoning attack. Oh, with a can then I'll do it with speed and uh, not, can I? Not, I, He's so not considering I, it a finesse oh, weapon. Oh, okay, I'm not considering fine, a fine. can of spray paint as a bludgeoning weapon to be a finesse weapon. That's fine. If you were using something like I should know, a curved it's so dagger, light. yeah. Yeah. I might say that's a speed. That's fine, I'm still spending it because Okay. This guy sucks. So three, four, so you have five points That's of damage right. on top of the five. Okay. So, um, Oops. yeah, this spray paint can crumples, it bends, you know, when you hit those empty spray paint cans, you hear the, pss, the last bit of compression leave a split side of this thing as you smash it down into his face and you watch the mirror finish of that <gasps> helmet kind of crumple a little bit. Unfortunately for him, he was trying to get his helmet off. Yeah. He got it halfway off when that can came down onto his face. You hear a cracking sound as it impacts with his jaw and he hits the ground unconscious. Bam, you slam it down in there and he crumples to the ground. Ooh. Um, who's next? Throw that. King, king, king. Uh, you just dropped a tactical guard with a, a can of spray. And the, there's, these guys are still aiming their guns at us, Art's right? my weapon. So in this particular <laughs> second, it just finished opening fire. Right. So was there Art's anyone near me? Was there anyone near me that did that? Uh, there was, but if you remember correctly, you decided to send them flying backwards when but, you smacked the crap out of them. Right, I, but I figured once they went down, then there'd be other ones. That, that are back in the same Who do I hit next? You're yeah. basically... Basically, yeah, who so, do I go for next? So as remember, as I've said, that there is yeah. a firing line. Really, at this point in combat, you can pick people. As there were 12 of them... I'm gonna go for them. the next guy. Okay. That works too. It just hands off me, Antoine. <laughs> Weirdo, it's weird. How, how does that even happen? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, I, I got it, yeah, okay. All right, save your life. I'm just gonna huh. go for it. Um, okay. They're wearing armor. You can you can smack the guy you've already smacked. He's on the ground. Um, he is prone, mm -hmm. so he's kind of at your mercy. Uh, or you can go for somebody fresh. Can I step on him to get to the next guy? Like, nah, it's gonna be nah. two attacks. Oh. You only have to stop and stomp on him, and then. Stop. Even though I can, t stop. can I make that as my short distance? Stop. No, I would rule that it's a, a full attack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Um, uh, I'm gonna, uh, go up to the next guy, uh, kick him in the nuts and punch him in the face. So, just, I, no, I would say no. that's a power shot. No, go ahead. Sorry. I was thinking, I was just thinking, I was like, you're, you're technically got electricity coursing through you. Yeah. An attack would be but running I'm up confused. to this guy and stomping. And so I was just thinking, what if you just ran across him with electricity coursing through you? But I think that would be, probably be a more advanced version of your power. And I don't think she would understand. She doesn't know how to, what she's she doing. Insulators. Yeah. yeah. Uh, until so, until I learn how to control what I'm doing. Right now, I'm just freaking out. <laughs> so go ahead. You're gonna just pop a new guy then. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm just gonna do what I know, which is All right, most likely kick him in the balls and punch him in the face. Right? That's the that's the thing. Kick him in the balls, right? punch him in the face. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and make your so attack. Mutual. Difficulty is two. But I would be using my uh, my, my energy would be going through that. The you, are you happen. using your shock ability? Yes. Okay. So like as I'm doing that. Yeah. Yeah. So difficulty is two. Uh, but you've got martial arts, so it yep. drops by one. By one. And then, do you have any other attack abilities? No. 
Um, no. So you need a three or better. Movement, acrobatic. Three or better. Okay. A four. Ooh. Putting it a little close there, Bonnie. <laughs> wow. I'm just trying to keep everybody on the edge. It's working! Yeah. <laughs> Pop! How much? Six points of damage? Six points of damage. <laughs> Again, electricity as another guy. You kick him in the nuts, and as you... Li- as you <laughs> there is a terrifying electrical popping him? sound <laughs> as her shin impacts with this guy's groin. Now, <laughs> I'm just going to point out that he is wearing tactical gear. Okay. However... <laughs> It's not sporting Bold. gear. <laughs> it's not exactly. Oh wait, I didn't even have to roll for that because because I'm technically a light weapon too, so that lowers it by one too. So but you but you still roll. I still roll. So but I'm just letting this, them know. Sure, let me know in the next attack. Sorry. So you hit this guy, lifting him up off the ground. There's an electrical popping sound, and as he comes back down, you go to finish him off with the punch, but you realize he's actually. Oh, you just uh, oh, <laughs> he's on the ground, oh. smoke. Whist- what the hell? Just <laughs> drifting up from his crotch as he grabs it and is screaming. <laughs> <laughs> um, Who's next? Right. I'm going to look back. I don't know what just happened to Oya, but I'm assuming that this guy did it uh, because you just went flying backwards. And was like, Are you okay? I'm, I'm in shock. I'm just like dazed. Oh, hell no. <laughs> You're going to punch somebody? Yeah, the, you charge up to the, the guy next guy. Just, I, probably the guy who just shot at me. Who I, I, you were going for him when you went flying backwards. So I'm assuming that he just did something to you. He's prone. Okay. There is no way he can defend. Cool. So you just hit unless you want to roll. Uh. Is he on the ground or? He's on the ground. He was on the ground aiming up at Cass, desperately shooting. Um. Hmm. Then a few feet behind, Oya went sailing backwards, and Cass just thought the guy in front of her did it. So. Yep. I'm gonna you don't roll. have to roll if you don't want to. I'm gonna roll. I would have been Okay. For her to kick I love this it. guy. You very did this far. with Prolo, too. Yeah. You were like, um, I'm gonna spin momentum Punch anyway, even though I can't fail. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what did she have to roll? She had to, well. Do anything. Anything. Yeah. anything. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but at least it wasn't a one this time. Yeah. It wasn't a one. No. It was good. a five. We're good. It was a five. Okay. okay. We are like critting in Star Trek. I need to like get a new dice. So that was. Eleven points of damage. Oh! We haven't had the discussion that superheroes need to talk about, where uh, we decide if we are going to murder or not. So, so I'm glad you asked because this was a deep concern of Amy's when we yeah. played our first session. And she uppercut somebody into the ceiling, and they um, died. So, well, you guys in- had mad with power look in your face, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. If, if if we were going full dark, I would have I would have gone there, but I would have talked to y'all first. Um, so, in the superhero genre, it specifically states in the Cypher R- Rules core book, and I'm glad it does this, but in this game, you guys as superheroes do not kill people unless you specifically look me in the eyes and say, I want this blow to kill him. Got it. So That's great. And also to give you an idea of the amount of damage Cass just did with her fist, cool. a shotgun at point blank with an effort spin did about as much damage as Cass just did with her fist. So he's not where'd dead, you, but... Where'd you punch him? In his ribcage? Did it collapse? <laughs> no, you hit him across the face where his helmet no was protecting his head. Is he a human donut now? Cass, <laughs> as your fist impacts the side of that helmet, the helmet breaks. There's a crack, there's a shatter, the mirrored reflection of the mask scatters across the alleyway as you break through right... The, this armor is supposed to help mitigate damage done by stray bullets. And it shatters underneath your fist like stage glass, Whoa. breaking and splaying across the alleyway. You're pretty sure there's a couple of teeth in that splay of glass. And he is quite unconscious, laying back on the what? ground, arms splayed out in both directions and blood trickling out of his face. He looks like he just got jacked up at Fight Club. He is quite done. I told him to run and he didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> the others are starting to catch on. Yeah. <laughs> if the dumpster didn't do it, if the tearing of the gun didn't do it, that punch certainly did it. <clears throat> Who's next? Who's up in the initiative one? I'm not gonna take a turn. I'm, You're gonna... I'm sitting there and I'm praying. <laughs> Gain an experience point. Okay. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Give you an experience point for that. Um, all right. Uh, who's next? Uh, you already acted. I already acted. You already acted? Yeah, that's everybody that's who that guy's. the initial role. Their action 
You hear somebody screaming, yeah. fall back, fall back, fall back. They do not open fire at you all. I'm still gonna have you roll defense checks. However, okay. the difficulty is gonna be reduced down by one. Then so I succeed. It's basically cover Same. fire. They're grabbing Ooh. some of their guys, they're dragging them out, and they're okay. opening fire just in a random direction. So you need threes or better not to get shot at. Or zero. <laughs> Success. <laughs> Are you, Sam? I succeeded. Are you over there praying you get shot? I would never do that, Eric. That would be wrong and bad. Maybe. Do you want right. one? I got two. Oh, okay. You got two? Okay. I mean, so, I am sitting there praying. So. Why are the squishies the like, easy target? 17, Fair. that doesn't do anything unless I'm no. causing damage. Okay. Yeah. You need, uh, for a minor effect, <clears throat> oh, that's right. for 19. a minor effect, you need a 19, mm -hmm. and for a major effect, you need a 20. Mm -hmm. If you're doing damage, anything from 17 or up does something new. Um, <laughs> all right, so what'd you get? Success. Success? Oh, I don't have to roll. Oh, you don't have to I mean, I <laughs> didn't either. I just wanted to. Uh, oh, the smugness made me. Oh, I don't have to roll. They can't shoot me. Wait. Oh. It's, oh, I already What's rolled, up? But if I have speed defense, sorry, I'm still flirting. If you have speed defense, then. You wouldn't have had to roll either. Have neither you don't neither did I. So I just did let's, it. We it's can retcon stupid. that. So speed defense, no, you don't even no, have to roll. No, because it's the no, same. No. Like, it just changes what the number is. If it's difficulty one, roll. you don't have to roll because then it reduces it down to zero. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it was because you said it was. Yeah. Difficulty okay. was one, so you don't even yeah. have to roll. So you actually okay. did succeed. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So uh, yeah. Well, so don't 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 worry. I'm not going to be hard on that because we're all still learning our characters in the game. So no yeah. problem. So don't even bother rolling. You automatically succeed, just like Luma, just like uh, Cass. Um, again, the temperature of the alleyway lights up, and you see these guys are dragging. It's covering fire. They're just trying to keep you all at bay as they're dragging their guys back. Not too hard, since most of the guys y'all have attacked have literally been flung backwards towards the rest of their ranks. Um, everyone is getting dragged back. Um, as this is happening, you see that they, it looks like that they're trying to angle themselves for the incoming dropship. This hovercraft as it's coming in, the door is opening on the back. <clears throat> they go, we're getting out of here, we're getting out of here. They, they stop and they're, they're signaling as they're you know, trying to keep you all at bay. The dropship passes right over them. <laughs> and they go, what are you doing? What are you doing? And you see the dropship start lowering down. And there's no one in the ship? We don't know. Uh, <clears throat> this is our ride. Come on. The door to the back of the ship just <laughs> opens up. What? You want us to get in there? Um, if Lacey says it's safe, we're going in there. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Probably a pilot or something. You've gotta be kidding, you gotta be kidding me. Who's going? I'm going in. This is the bad guy's ship. We can't go in there. There's bad guys in there. There's bad guys here. But there's all, there's also, there's, <laughs> uh, we go in. <laughs> I, I want to give you Tell me what you're doing now. I'm kind of exhilarated, but scared to touch anyone, yeah. but yeah. I'm, um, I'm scouting ahead. Running up into the ship? Yeah, I'm, yeah, making sure no one's all in right, there. All right, so hold that thought. Okay. When you reach out and touch Oya, the two of you freeze and stare at each other. And for a split second, Cass, you see the entire history of your relationship with Oya flashing in front of your eyes. The first time you guys ever met, <laughs> the first time you all shared a sandwich together when you've forgotten please. your lunch. Me next, me next. You are flat, you see the entire flash of history yeah. <laughs> of how the two of you have spent all this time growing up together at Baldwin Island. It just happens all in front of you, warping up all the way to this very moment where you see the two of you walking out of the doors into this alleyway, and for a second you're reliving the moment. And then you realize to your shock and terror that you're standing about five feet behind yourselves in the actual moment of time. Oh, you with the shit? Do I see this too? You are there with her. And as you say, oh, you with the shit, you, Cass, see the other Cass start flinching to look behind her and then you're back to the present moment with the memory of hearing somebody shout, oh, you with the shit behind you. I don't know, I don't know, let's go, let's go. We'll talk about it after. And you go? In the ship. In the ship. Are you go? You run inside. Yeah. So think of it just basically like a drop ship. It looks like, yeah. it's like running inside of a cargo plane, yeah. a miniature cargo plane. And as you run up, you see these seats that are kind of lining the sides of this thing, yeah. along with handholds for the tactical team. You see weapons in lockers on the side. And at the front of this plane, which has an open cockpit leading straight up to the front, you see what looks like a very confused 
pilot shouting, override, override, as he's like pressing the, down the controls. I want to sneak to that place. <laughs> okay. To the cockpit. You get a surprise attack on this guy. Great. Um, so I would say, <laughs> uh, what would you like to do to him? I have no idea, but I did just, uh, Hitting people in the head seemed to work. So, is there anything? The like, weapons on the rack. I, 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 like not a, a weapon, but yeah. Like, is there anything on the way to the cockpit? There are that's weapons loose? in the rack, and you could, you could, right? You could basically stock strike him. Yeah, I kind of want to just do like a backhanded. Just grab one of these Uzis. Oh, yeah. um, I'm gonna count that as a medium weapon. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna say <laughs> there's no point in rolling. Because you got to, it's a surprise attack. Yeah. Which is reduces the difficulty to hit somebody by three steps. Um, okay, I do the thing. He, he, I do the thing then. Okay, so, so yeah, four I, points I, of damage to the I, back I, of the pilot's head. Just the, <laughs> just the tiny, tiny. So imagine in this pilot's mind, as he's sitting here shouting override, override, for the brief seconds of consciousness that he still has, he glances up just in time to see what looks like. Uh, a, a person with white hair yeah. and a holographic skull mask As I just in think, the reflection sorry, of... Sorry, I think this is our ride. <laughs> and his world goes dark, <laughs> as he only has four hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Drag Bam! him out of the cockpit. <laughs> We'll try um, to. So as y'all trying to throw, throw him, him trying to throw him get out there, like, the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Question for you. Can you help me? Oh, yeah. Fling. Oh. Great. What you doing? Uh... I'm concerned. Would my character understand that it's an electricity thing that is happening to her? I don't know. Do you, what do you think? Um, because I don't think I want to get on a giant electric thing in the sky. Huge conductor. You have if boots, I can, right? You're wearing tin rubber can. boots. You're wearing an insulator Gosh, on your boots. Not right now. I your feet? No. Um, no. Rubber boots. Most. Most. So, I'm, I'm have wearing rubber soles. Right. In part for that reason. But. So here I also have like shot things out of my mouth. So. True. Let me let me let me put this in perspective okay. for you then. This will help you make a decision. Okay. They're leaving on this thing. Yeah. Your options are stay here mm -hmm. and fight this crowd, or leave with them on this thing. Mm. Pops, you could try running for it. Pops, come it on. Seems safe. You gotta go. Go. Okay. Nobody touch me. Nobody touch me. <clears throat> yeah. You don't have to ask <clears throat> us twice. Mm -hmm. We okay. saw what you did to his finger. Lacey, you're in. Lacey. I'm in. I'm going okay. toward the operation, to the pilot seat. Okay. I'm already sitting, so. Co um, pilot? Yeah. I'm immediately going to go to the, the wall of different, like, um, n uh, not just weapons, but like different um, equipment and everything, and just put, like, glove, like, I'm just covering all skin. So you're going to look for I tactical can. gear? Yeah. All I'm right. going to so cover my hands. I'm, I just don't want anyone to touch You'll need to search for it. Sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you start yeah. pulling open lockers to search for tactical gear and stuff. Um, what are you doing, Anton? Is everybody else on the ship? Everyone's piled onto the ship, yeah. Okay. I want to turn away from the ship for a second and <laughs> look at the the tactical squad, the black ops squad that we just dealt with. It looks Where like are they? They are about, I would say now they're about 35, 40 feet away. They've caught on that their ride has been compromised. It doesn't look like they're making an attempt to take it. It looks like they are actually holding up where they are. In other words, they're licking their wounds. They're not making the attack. It looks like they're covering their retreat. Before I run up into the ship, I want to turn around and face them and go, yo, hey! And then I start getting bigger and expanding myself as if I'm facing a bear. Uh -huh. And I go, we didn't do anything. What the fuck is the matter with you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> as this door is closing <laughs> from behind, it's quite the sight because you're watching Anton's body expand to double, triple its, its space that it takes up, just watching <sighs> arms sort of flatten out, chest puffs out, shoulders rise up. <laughs> Anton grows, and he begins to take up almost the entire majority of the entrance ramp as it's closing. Um, Anton got woo! back. <laughs> and as you, as you, as this door closes up, Anton, you realize you're bumping into the ceiling of this craft. Then I kind of retract and sort of, you know. Back down to normal. Yeah. Your clothes have torn significantly. Yeah. Significantly. Um, All limbs inside the aircraft, please. Um, Lacey. <laughs> um, the computer is interacting with you right now. 
Okay, I can't help you. How do I help you? Um, I need to disable tracking from whoever sent us, and we need to determine a location. I'm going to start moving west, and we can figure out on the way. Are you flying this thing? Yes. How? Well. <laughs> it lurches right when they oh. say that. And get in here, get in here. Uh, um, I'm in, I'm in. It was awesome. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah. What the hell is going on? What is wrong Oya with is us? praying in Spanish under her breath. Are you guys okay? <laughs> okay. No, I'm not okay. Is it fine okay? I'm I like don't know. <laughs> Normal okay. No, I don't think any of us are okay, but I mean, physically, maybe? I mean, I think I'm okay. Other than the thing when you change it into something else. But we'll talk about uh, it later. Wait, what? Um, this is crazy. Over the roar of the engines outside, you guys realize you're inside this carrier jet, this troop transport of some kind. There's no markings on the inside of this. Your ears pop for a second as you've gained a lot of altitude. You actually ascend to about the same level as some of the sky cars. And you're able to see down onto the convention center right now. Um, you're kind of looking down as you're keeping your balance. Um, looking outside the cockpit windows, you're all kind of crowding to see what's going on down there. 4,000 people is exactly the, the, the scale of the, the clashing that's happening. But as you're getting higher, you're actually starting to see fires. <gasps> street side, oh, no. and you're beginning to realize that a full-scale citywide riot has begun in Los Angeles. Whoa. Um, as y'all are gaining more and more altitude. Um, now we know why the emergency lines were busy. <laughs> and it looks like sky traffic is being diverted from the area. The sun has just finished setting about, I'd say about 30 minutes ago. So you've, you've entered into dusk. You've, the, the beginning stages of night have begun, and you are all looking out over the glossy, lit up city of Los Angeles um, in this stolen vehicle as y'all fly. Mm -hmm. um, Lacey, this machine is aware of you on a level that it can be aware. It's not an AI per se, but it looks like it's interacting with you. And as you're sitting there in the seat, you're watching Lacey controlling this thing. Luma, you've never seen Lacey fly before. Mm -mm. But this machine, you can see like the sensor scope, which is this display that comes up in the middle, kind of like a radar screen. Yeah. It's giving a layout of the sky traffic, the city, <clears throat> um, a readout of the condition of the ship itself, its fuel reserves, which are practically full. And <clears throat> it looks like it's answering commands that no one is entering. Hmm. Um, Lacey, it's speaking back to you. Hello. Um, I, I wanna go westward. I think we're gonna put down at some point um, and then continue on foot. Uh, are you talking to anyone else? Um, Who are you talking to? Make a roll. Hmm. Okay, um, what's the difficulty? Difficulty for this, I'm gonna set it at four. Okay. So 12 or better. All right. I will expend a point of effort to okay. bring that down to one. Bring it down to one. So you need a three or better. Mm -hmm. 13. 13. Yes. This device, this ship is being tracked. Um, <clears throat> you're not able to pinpoint the signal, but it is receiving commands that it is actively ignoring because you've overridden. Uh, could, could you hang up with them? Please, I don't, I don't want us to be followed. Uh, with that roll, I'll give it to you. Thank you. Just cuts off. Um, We're not being tracked anymore. Okay, great. How do we turn this off? Like, what do we do? Like, what happened? How are you doing that? What, what, what? How did we you all do have things I, I... that make us ask what? Right now, <sighs> I'm flying a hover ship. And at that point, you huh. all watch the compass as the ship turns west and begins to fly in the direction. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're not this flying is... this. No. You're talking to this. It is worth noting that what Anton says seems accurate because Lacey's hands are not actually moving the stick as it's banking yep. and moving forward. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> pilot, pilot, what, what was your name again, pilot? Lacey. Lacey, are you okay? None of us is okay. But I mean, are you? Um, it doesn't hurt that bad. 
I'll they rest can't use those assholes. You actually see a score mark right across yeah. Lacey's shoulder where, a bla- where one of those plasma bolts just got too close. I didn't do that, did I? I didn't do that. It's no one's fault. Lacey? It's no one's fault. Lacey, thank you for saving our lives. <gasps> she threw a dumpster. Yeah, I know. You're talking about yeah. And what the dumpster. hell was that? Oh, I didn't see that. I was unconscious. Never mind. <laughs> You're full of electricity. Yeah, don't touch you, me. What are you, you doing? You slowed down you? in time. Me? I didn't You do slowed it. down in time. Your face changed. What do you mean? What? what? Your face changed when you were pulled up against the wall. What? Mm-hmm. What? It, and I can do... Change you? Wait, what do you mean? Yeah. You look like the wall. I didn't feel different. What do you mean? You did, like, a camouflage with your face. Oh, face my God. That's your thing that makes you know what? what? We are possessed. That's what happened. We have to do oh some type of incantation. We have to do a cleansing. Has this ever happened to you before tonight? Evil. No. Wait, yeah, that's I, because I, it was I'm, the thing. I'm it was... on board. I, I wouldn't mind maybe demons. I, I don't mind that. There's it's something wrong You can exercise with us. me. No, can there, that. there must have been like some kind of storm or something. No, that, no our like, bodies were changed. Storm. It was this. It was that. What we is put it? it back in. Can we put it back in? I don't know. I have to look at it. Um, I it, thought maybe I, we could go to my storage unit where mm-hmm. my equipment are. I mean, unless someone has a good hideout from everyone. Mm-hmm. You guys cool to go to Rev City? Yeah, if it's safe there, we should go. It's I don't know safe. where anywhere is safe, but it's gonna be far away from where the riot started, which means that the radius won't expand outward to Rev City unless there are new inciting incidents. You wanna so put a light on that one water? Help? What do we do? I see a plane. That's true. Can I thought I, we could I put down grab and then the canister. Just leave it. So we I'm gonna grab the put. canister as you're yeah. talking and just look at it. Where's the other one? I want to check on the other one. Where, is it in here? What other one? Y- 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 your trunk. Yeah. You came with. It followed. Okay. It's in the back. Mm-hmm. It, it, I'm gonna uh, look in the trunk. You open it up. Uh, oh. Are you looking in the bottom? How do I open it? It's it. it I, I used the solvent already. If you just lift it off, okay. Just like grab like a little bit on the top. Use the surface tension of your hands. Okay. Yeah. You pull surface it off. Surface tension. Like it unless you're a sweaty. There you go. So again, underneath is that strange peak device that you and Lacey pulled up from the the coral reefs of Santa Atlantis, and it is uh, same is it, as you left it. With the minor exception, is it looks like it's on. It still has the eyeball. Mm-hmm. What is that? What is that Does thing? Does it look like it's similarly made to the Callisto no. 6 canister? Looks Not like the same materials, same design Mm-mm. functions? Nope. Nothing is similar about it? Doesn't look similar in any way. Okay. Is that a bomb? What is that It's thing? not a bomb. I thought it was a bomb. It's not a bomb. I've been reassured several times that it is not a bomb. It's not a bomb. Y'all gotta get me off the ship. I'm like a bomb. I, c- I don't know I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to control this. No, you planes saw, are I'm okay like... when they're struck by lightning. What? Planes are okay when they're struck by lightning. Yeah, not when you're inside, not when the lightning is inside the plane. The lightning doesn't tend to get inside the plane. Maybe it would benefit you and everybody else on the Maybe ship sh- if you did try to calm down. No, you don't see, you, we have to turn this off. We have to, t- we have to take we this will. away. We have to take this, this out, away. Right now, we're stuck in Did here. you see what you did? You're amazing. It may, it, it, this may go away. It may be just like a symptom for yeah. a little bit. Yeah, maybe so it'll just, just like. Calm, calm, breathe. I think we should all take a breath. Say a prayer, mm-hmm. and maybe it'll go away. The way we're gonna get to the then bottom of this. The ship will crash. What? what? If it goes away right now. <gasps> oh! Don't make it go don't away! Go don't away. make it go away! Okay, no, no, no. Look, Let's we have to land first. We have to get to the bottom of whatever the heck that thing is, and you're holding the canister right now, right? Yeah. Because that. Those six. That doctor, What's that scientist, Calista? opened it, and it and it mm-hmm. hit us and changed us. That thing. Did you guys do this? They knew about the- Is this a Cassium thing? Pyramid Star, that's what it said on her badge. The tactical people who came knew about it. They said they opened it uh, and something about the energy. Energy. Which means that whoever was tactical, maybe they were Pyramid Star related, maybe they were hired by Pyramid Star because they knew too. They were looking for us. They weren't associated with the riot directly. Or at least that's the inference you could make. Who was she? A woman who died. I pulled a name tag out. Dr. Annika Patel. Still a spatter of blood on the top of the name tag. Can we like look her up or something? Maybe she'll be. It'd like, be good to find out whether I... she's on the official uh, staff directory of Pyramid Star that's published, Can or I... if whatever she was doing is off the books. So I pull up my tablet and it's completely smoked and fried. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like ah. Uh, my glasses oh, are gone. I I got this. See, seeing you pull out the tag and seeing that there's still blood on it. 
reminds me that my hands are still covered in blood. Mm. Um, Lacey, is there is there a bathroom on planes like this? So something shocking happens. I didn't as, do it. As shocking <laughs> as you hear that being asked, Luma's voice begins to change. Luma. And as you all, on this place? and as you look up, you see underneath the white hair, in Luma's clothes, is Doctor Anika Patel. <gasps> what? Looking at blood on her hands. I don't milk it. Your face. What? And you, as you what? say that, her hair begins to shift into the oh. dark. Blood. Does anyone have a mirror? Show, someone show Why her. Why are you all freaking here? out? What's Hol- happening? Holographic and mirror. Right as you say, what is happening? The, the stress immediately. So right when you get the mirror and look in, you see the left side of your face shifting back to your face and the hair color disappearing told you. as you shift back to you. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I like my hair. I like my face. I want it to stay there. It's back. It's fine. You're fine. Oh, my God. oh gosh. Okay. We're possessed? Oh, I just want blood all over my face. I'm going to be sick. I... Yo. Uh, in my trunk, in the first okay. kit, there, there are alcohol wipes. It's oh. okay. What's going on with her? I don't know what she's doing. I don't know how to help her. I can tell she's worried, but I don't know what to do. <clears throat> just, just grab them from back there. Lacey. <gasps> you hear. What did she just do? Operator. Um, you don't sound like the airplane. Awaiting designation. Who are you? What is she talking to? Sound like a device. I don't know who they're talking to. Awaiting designation. I just heard your voice. There is a device. You're hearing this. No one else is hearing this. Yeah, no shit. Are we shit. hearing Lisa or are you being hearing You're right here now. right now. You're hearing Luma oh, going, oh. ah, and then off on the side, Lacey is just going, who is this? There's somebody. Where are you, sweet baby? It's ghosts. It's ghosts. Um, it, the presence feels like it's coming from inside the plane. So, baby, there's a device around here somewhere. It's talking. What kind of a device? A device that'll take this away? Is I don't this know. A bomb? Uh, bombs don't ask for designations. Who asks for designations? Wait, Lacey. Robots? Lacey, just keep asking questions. Um, location. Where are you? There's a long moment of silence, and then you hear awaiting designation. Did they say anything? Um, you know when you get a new computer and you have to enter its uh, name and your name and everybody? Yeah. Everybody? Sinking, um, yeah. No. Designation. Sweet baby. Confirmed. Designation, sweet baby. Okay. Um, additional setup required? Negative. The hell is Operator this? designation. Um, I'm Lacey. Operator Lacey. Confirmed. Awaiting instruction. Set up. Sure. Uh, where are you? Location. Location unknown. <laughs> Throw up in the trunk and start taking the wet wipes out to get the blood off of me. Doesn't doesn't know where it is. Um, sorry. Um, it's not the it's not the lift. It's not. Unidentified the persons. Uh, friendlies. Friendlies. Ugh. Designating friendlies. Yeah. Lacey, are we being what? tracked by anyone? Uh, no, I, I turned that off. Uh, I don't but, know what this is. It sounds like a really uh, different. It sounds different than that. Could very, being, very different. Yeah. Could we be being hacked right now? Is what I'm asking? Um. Are they bad? Can you talk to machines? What is a sweet baby? <laughs> what is happening? This is all very new. They usually talk to machines, but they usually don't talk back, and I'm assuming they're talking back? That's that's the thing. That's that's the thing. That's the what. I think it's the what. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a big what. They're all big whats. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. This is all happening in front of the plane right now as you are praying. Um, where is the cylinder? Who has it? I think uh, I have six it. Cylinder? You have it. Yeah. 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 That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not touching anything. I've, yeah. I've been completely no. wrapped in yeah. here. <laughs> so no one... You're starting to see things holding this cylinder. 
you see the images of... At first, you're not sure, but it looks like a, a woman, probably of Indian descent. Definitely, yes, definitely the doctor. Definitely Dr. Patel. You see her in a laboratory. Um, you're watching, it's almost like you're looking through a fuzzy dream as you're holding this. And you become aware you're seeing events. It's very similar to the thing that happened just before you boarded this hovercraft. And as you're holding it, you begin to become aware of smells. That cold, sterile smell of a laboratory. Um, and for anybody who would be looking at Oya right now, which none of you are, for a moment, you can see your breath in front of you. Like the temperature around you in this plane has dropped as well. Like a fragment of time is taking place and you're stuck between both. You hear Anton talking in the background, doing a fine job of actually calming people down a little bit and keeping things structured. And then you see Dr. Patel immediately start entering information on a computer. She's looking around. And then someone steps in behind her. She straightens up. And you see a figure coming into view, stepping down from what looks like a staircase behind her. And at this point, you have kind of left your consciousness in the plane, and you're watching events unfold, almost like you're an astral projection in this room, just witnessing things but it's still very blurry, like you're looking through a fogged window. And as you're watching this person descend from a staircase, looks like they're coming out of a, a, a metal door that slid open, a wall of windows, metal staircases going down on both sides, stepping down off of a platform from behind the doctor. She's standing in from some kind of machine. It looks like a containment field of some kind where a very familiar yellow energy is collected inside. And the person, just before you begin to lose contact, comes into your field of vision. Um, you see it is unmistakably Kylan Krauss stepping into your point of vision, looking quite pleasant and charismatic, smiling at her. She says something and you don't catch it. And he smiles back and says, are you feeling okay? You look anxious. Is there something on your mind? You feel your heart rate, your heart rate just accelerate. Like you just realized you were standing on a spider's web and you made a movement and you're waiting to see if the ripple has alerted the spider. And he smiles at you. And you hear yourself say, no, I, I, I've been, Losing a lot of sleep lately, <laughs> a lot of caffeine. And you hear Kylan say, hmm, I'm sorry again about your wife. It's a shame what happened to her and your family. I'm glad that we can do something for you though, for all the work that you've done for Pyramid Star. And she says, I thank you for that. Thank you. And he says, I trust you won't be making the same mistakes they did. And she says, no, no. He says, good, good. We're, we're too close. We're much too close. And so now, unfortunately, we have to do what is necessary even if it seems tasteless or brutal. We can't have any uh, variables this late in the game. Um, she nods and he says, good, good, I'm, I'm glad you understand. Well, continue your work and Maybe when this is done, 
and the world is forever changed, there'll be a place for you in it. Good night, Dr. Patel. And he turns as he gets a phone call and says, hello? It is. How are you? And he starts walking back up the stairs. The heart rate, you feel fury. Rage on a primal level, down to the core of your bones. A fury that cannot, it's up there with a mother's fury. Something that transcends any sort of verbal description. It is elemental. A hatred that is fuel. And all that anxiety of, am I going to do this, am I going to do this, dies immediately. As you realize you're stealing it even if it costs you your life. And you come back to the present moment, listening to them argue. Wait, you can talk to Toastas? What are we talking about here? Like, what? Y'all are uh, right over are, Raft City. Here. This thing makes a lot of noise, so as you are approaching, consider that. I want to try to put down um, away from Raft City proper. I don't want to make it the sure. most apparent, like, hey, they went to Wrath City. So make a so roll. We're end on foot. I would say make a roll. This would be an intellect check. Okay. Um, so make a roll, and I'll set the difficulty here at three. Okay. Which should be relatively easy for. Uh, what kind of check? Lacey, it's an intellect roll. Just. Do you do you have any skills in? I tell you what, I'll I'll make it a navigation check, and I'll give you the asset for the for the computer itself. Okay. So we'll drop the difficulty from three to two. Okay. So six or better. Ten. You find a spot, no problem. Okay. Um, there are plenty of abandoned parking lots. Um, you've never explored yourself, but you remember seeing as you've often drifted past Raft City or gone through. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of abandoned spaces this close to the beach areas. Um, just there, there is not, there's really not a homeless problem in LA at this point in history the way there is today, unfortunately. Um, however, um, these areas of the docks, like near the beaches, near the, 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 the borderlands of the catastrophe itself, outside of Raft City, is where some people try to collect because they know no one's going to be watching. There's less aggressive architecture. Yeah, and, and some people have made homes here. So um, as you approach, you do manage to find a patch, but you do see people scattering as you are approaching what looks like an old parking lot that has grass kind of peeking up out of, out of it. Um, which is an extremely unusual sight, this uh, this side of the corporate sector. Um, and you all watch as Lacey thinks this thing down. And the engines deactivate. Okay, that was weird. Okay, that was pretty amazing. Yeah. I'm so sorry I hesitated. I'm so sorry I hesitated. Um, it's like we lost yeah. our music. I, I, yeah, I guess uh, we have to clean this up as best we can. If they ever crack into it and do DNA checks, then, you know, we're bound. But, oh. Uh, we have to wipe it down so that they can't effectively do a DNA check? I mean, wouldn't you look for the hover ship that was jacked and then look for DNA residue yeah. in forensics to try to find out the people who... I uh, stole your energy. What did you steal? <laughs> Has any the hovership and yellow energy. Has everyone just avoided checking the net to see if we've been mentioned because we don't want to confirm that our lives are ruined? Is that what's been happening? Um, I was being shot. I was preoccupied. Mm. Yeah, I think we were all yeah. a little distracted. Okay. But we should yeah. probably check now because if we're worried about wiping this down so that they can't do a DNA scan, we're slagged. There's no way we can avoid that. Yeah. There's no way they're not going to know exactly who we are and where we are and what we're doing. We were registered for the conference, and now we're not there, so. There's cameras literally everywhere. There's riots everywhere. Did okay. I, I want to do a search. Okay. And check police bands and all that good stuff. Interesting thing is beginning to happen to all six of you right now. The initial shock of being injected with these incredible abilities, before it was like you were plugged into the wire. You were connected directly with the energy that was causing this. So your abilities at the period in that alleyway were amped. 
to the nth degree because y'all were crazy, crazy, like plugged into the original power source. Now some time has passed and it's settled inside of you. So what you're starting to notice is you can feel its presence. You can feel that energy coursing into you. But you've noticed that now it's behaving. Hmm. Now, whenever you want it, Anton, when you move your hands, they're fine. And as you concentrate for a second, you see them go. And then you go back to, con you release it and back to normal movement, articulation. Um, it's the same with you, Hops. You are, you, you can feel there's an energy inside you because it almost feels like it's still coursing into your veins, but you don't feel its desire to escape your skin because it's responding to what you want. I don't care, I'm still wearing all the gear. Sure. Um, everything feels a little more, okay. A little more under control. And there's really no other way to describe it. It just feels a little more comfortable. And Lacey, as a result, you're actually getting a little static now coming through um, from this advanced computer that's on board this, is on board this uh, hovercraft. Okay. Um, as the link up is beginning to sort of falter a little bit, um, but you've touched it, you've arrived. Um, however, you are still hearing standing by. That's still very clear. I hop out of the pilot seat into my chair, and mm -hmm. I want to kind of... Uh, you don't even have to, you can hot feel cold. it. You can kind of hot cold it. I mean, it's a machine, so you can feel its presence. Yeah. Um, you all watch Lacey hop over into the chair, and immediately just, it lights up, goes and just wheels over to the center of the plane, right over to your chest. It's still open. It does sound like my equipment. I take out my designs, I take out uh, my equipment. Okay. At the bottom of the chest, you see the device, and then you hear the words, unidentified persons. I'm Lacey. Designation Operator Lacey. Greetings, Lacey. I am Sweet Baby. Hmm. Sweet Baby! <laughs> the squeal. <laughs> I pick it up and hug it. The you, device. You pick up the device. So. Lacey re oh, reaches are in. Are they this. hugging the knot bomb? Yeah. Uh -huh. So what it is, it's the a knot glossy. Bomb with the eyeball. Uh, the way I would describe it is, it looks like a glossy metallic, um, <laughs> like a miniature obelisk. It's like about this, about this tall, about that thick, with a few like. It looks like it's got a few things um, on the back of it. it. The best way to describe it is it looks like something that used to plug into something and has been pulled loose. Mm. Um, it has an, it looks like it has an auxiliary power supply built into it. Interestingly enough, without having you guys make a tech roll, this thing looks kind of old. Mm -hmm. Does not look like modern tech. Um, and they're holding it and cradling it. This thing probably weighs close to 10 pounds. You're just, eh, yeah. I have to get up. <laughs> and um, they're cradling it. <laughs> Whatever it is, you do see, again, it's a glossy metal. It's sort of like a, I would say a deep green like sheen on the inside of it. Like it's sort of like a glass that's laid over like green felt almost. And it's been kind of laid over on the top of it. And the dead center is what looks like an Oculus of some kind that has a small green light shining out of it. And right now the Oculus, as Lacey's holding it, it goes and opens up. I didn't get a chance to, to really check you out. Wait a minute, that's that, sweet baby? That's, yeah. your, that's your sweet baby. Yeah. Lacey, it's what is sweet to, baby? It, it's talking to you now? Yeah, this is what we need to set up. Um, now, now, now it's set up. Set up to do what? <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna find out. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Lacey, could that be what dangerous? What is going on? <laughs> I, it's I, finally I, starting wait. to crack Luma. <laughs> wait, it, it, it can. This is now a multiple day of what? <laughs> it's possible that that can be dangerous? Yeah. What, what, wait, you said it wasn't dangerous. Ask it if it's dangerous. Hey, are you dangerous? Operations unknown. Designation sweet baby. What did it say? It, it doesn't know yet. It doesn't does it know. know? Does, it, does it know? Uh, You're friendly. We are? Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, Can you ask? I get to it? see you again. Okay, but what is it? I don't know yet. Ask, Where did it come from? Ask it. Underwater. Ask it, we found it. it. Oh, um, yeah. Manufacturer origin. Unknown. Yeah, it doesn't okay. know. I think it got um, amnesia. 
Machine Nisha. You, um, did you say okay. you found it in the ocean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it got it's old tech. Yeah, it got attached to uh, uh, Lacey's, well, Lacey's dad, uh, the, it was some kind of caught on the anchor, and he asked us to go down, and, and then we, so we dove into the water, and um, oh, that was. Oh, Raft City, right? And then we had yeah. This yeah. is why I don't like machines. This is too things. weird. That's not a regular <laughs> machine. I don't, I don't care what it is. Oh, it's, oh, they're not, they're, they're talking. Out. It's weird. Yeah, we found this yesterday. Yeah, I'm definitely the weird one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I um, think we're cliche. all the weird one now, because I, I think I saw something. What? what did you say? What do you mean? When, when us as kids, when you gave me your lunch? Oh, well, yeah, that, but like, just now I was holding the canister and looking at it, and then, um, I, I was in the lab, that, that lady on the ID was, I think I was her, and... You had a psychic vision? Yeah. It was, it wasn't a vision, though, it was real, I was there. I was here, but I was like, there at the same time, and then, and then... Are you okay? That guy, Kylan Krause. He was there, and he was really creepy. Kylan Kraus? I knew it! She didn't oh. like him. The jerk's That guy. doctor? Who? The... She was scared of him. That's the guy, right? Yeah. She because was really she scared at... of him, and it seemed like he did something to her family. At Pyramid what? Star Solutions? What? Yeah, that's where it was. It was at Pyramid Star. What did it look like? What like, did... everything... Like, you, you know what places look like. Yeah. Because we have to... Like... We have to find out. Her we have family. to find out what this is. What did he the do? The more information you have, then we can track family? down the energy, figure out something. It was it was a lab and it was cold. It felt like maybe it was underground or in a basement or something. Okay. And he came down the stairs to come see her. And he said that she needed to finish the job or something. And they were almost there and there couldn't be any more mistakes. And he was really creepy and smile but like smiley creepy, you know? I knew it! I knew that guy was Wait a minute, describe the lab. What did the lab look like? Like how, like, what kind of lab? One story, two story? I mean, I was just in that one room of the lab, so I don't know, it was if very high If you saw a picture of it, do you think you'd be able to recognize it? Because yeah. I've got some friends at Pyramid Star, they might be able to... She's good at front end. You can build environments. Oh yeah, I could totally build this one. Build I mean, it, I could build then it we'll figure it out. Way. Yeah. Cool. Okay. If it's oh. cool, that means maybe it was underground, or maybe it's using large amounts of coolant. If it was something about an... Uh, energy field, then like it would require a lot of power. Wait, we could search was, by power. There was a containment field there too. Um, okay, that's more power requirements. That'll that'll help narrow this down, and then we can find out what it is, what happened, and what I'm it did sorry, to us. Ask, what did he say to us? How long ago did your dad family? work there? A long time ago. I mean, I he died we when kids. I was ten. Yeah. But I mean, I spent most. I spent like the first like I don't know five six years of my life running through the labs and you know playing hide and seek and. Yeah. So we could probably like if we saw it again, we could tell you where where it is. Maybe I don't know. Maybe. They could they could have remodeled it. It's can been you years. build it? Yeah, I can build it. Just give me a few hours. We okay. lay low. We yeah. build it. We can try we... to find out what this is and turn this off. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna step outside and make a few phone calls. To let our family know that we're okay. Okay. That might not yeah. be a good idea. Why? Because oh. if we're being hunted down. Yeah, they're and gonna if, they Mama, if we're being know. if we're being hunted right. down, then I need to warn them, make them get out of the house. Can you do a phone call where they can't track you? Uh, Please. I could try to set it up, or or we could run the lights of Raft City. Just switch them. Send whatever, a whatever you we can do. Send a warning, but that 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 doesn't tell our families that we're not currently in a riot, getting taken to jail or. Hit, Beaten or yeah, I gotta let something know too. Okay, uh, give me all uh, your wrist computers. We'll switch out trackers. Anything that could have a tracker in it, okay. give it to me. I'll start working on disabling everything. I give you my tablet. I'm like, could you fix this? Maybe the answer should be Why? no. Yeah, but Lacey says <laughs> it's. I mean, it's smoking and and it has. It's all burnt. Why? What? <laughs> fine. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't need to call no one. It's fine. I mean, you can use mine if you need to call someone. No, I don't. It's fine. I can fix it if you need. I didn't mean to be rude. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's, no, I, I didn't mean to. I'm just a little freaked out. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to like get angry no, I'm, or anything. I'm okay. just a little. This, sure. you know, I've had this tablet for a it's long time. And okay, it's then I'll fix it. Baby. Okay. I mean, I can fix it. I can, I can fix lots of things. Ask Luna. They can fix anything. Okay. I'm gonna. I don't fix know if you can fix a whole bunch that. of stuff. Okay. So cool. to <laughs> clarify, the plan is is that we all got change somehow. Uh -huh. We might be being hunted down by a corporation, whether it's Pyramid Star for some reason or, or, or some other group, and we have to stay off of the grid. 
until we can figure out what happened to us, see if we can change it back, and try to clear our name somehow so that we can go back to our lives, right? I get I guess. This sounds like something. Find out if they're hunting us There's first. So much, yeah, but we we need to talk. listen. This no, they're. they're I can't miss work. Okay, go this ahead. This Callisto's okay. six thing, whatever it is or was, was very important to Kylan Krauss. Because he he did some, I don't know, I think he did some bad stuff to people because of it. Then this might be bigger than any of us know. If it goes all the way up to Kylan Krauss. And if they know that we have it. <laughs> they know someone has it. What do you mean that we have it? Just it's someone. It's empty. Like this this thing is empty. No. Like whatever it is, it's we in have us. It. Yeah. We have to get we... it out. Okay. Yeah. If we can. Yeah. All right. Plus, I need some new clothes. Yeah. <laughs> you might want to get, you might want to get some like okay. spandex. We can fix. We can fix. We can fix this. All right. Yes. Um, I I need to make some kind of. Uh... So, quick question. Yeah. Are you are you planning on doing this big tech check? Here inside this thing in the parking lot that you guys landed on. Like, yes. Go. <clears throat> uh, because I don't want any. Uh, foot sure. I just want to. Yeah. I just want to. Yeah. Also, clearly, I've just gotten task focused on it here. I basically just want to know yeah. if y'all are sitting. We have not moved the end. We are still Basing sitting down. So, just yeah. to clarify, you guys are okay right now because Lacey deactivated any tracking. Yeah. They yep. have sure. no idea where the hell. Other you than started. visual, it, would yeah. take a bit longer. As as we know, and yeah. anyone who yeah. reports this, so we have at least that long. They don't have a head start. So to continue, I deactivate all yeah. the rest of the tracking first. Just to continue we... giving you context, one hour ago, you were stuffing your faces at a dinner table <laughs> listening to Hops give a talk. I didn't even get dessert. You didn't, you guys Good. just met. <laughs> um, so Lacey, you gather up all the tech and begin your work. Um, you're basically pulling these devices off the grid, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and uh, some of them where people need to contact people, um, I'm basically setting up a VPN. Oh, okay. Uh, so that everybody can call. A Discord, so to speak. <laughs> a private Discord. So, um, so for everything you're attempting to do, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna say that's difficult. Okay. Um, if you're trying to get it done quickly. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably accurate. So I'm gonna say target number is 12, but we know that's getting reduced dramatically to what? Um. Let's see. Walk One, us through it. Two. So I have uh, my risk computer functions as an asset on computers checks. Okay. Um, additionally, I have my mundane natural skill in, right. uh, well, specialization in all tasks involving electrical machines, using crafting, repairing, identifying, understanding. So normal human being, you've already maxed out at what you can possibly do without spending effort, which is, Three I, reductions. I like one from an asset and two from a specialization. Mm -hmm. But are you doing anything else? Yeah, I'll got... spend a level of effort. Okay, you spend a level of effort, and don't don't you also immediately get your power shift? Does um, that not help here? Uh, depends on whether you think uh, uh, computer science is a science, or uh, coding is crafting. Were the other two? Oh yeah, that's right. We talked about yeah, that. Yeah, coding is crafting. I think coding is crafting. Yeah. Okay, so then uh, I don't have to spend for it. Uh, that automatically goes down to zero. Yep. All right, okay. so Lacey gets to work. <laughs> um, Lacey, what's remarkable about this as you're doing the work, it's not like it's, it's not like it was last time. You've you've done modifications on tech before, but this time you know where your patients are hurting. You're able to see the gaps in the code and the damages on on the soft and the hardware. They're actually giving you true false statements as you move through. Lacey, it's talking to you. As you're moving through and, and starting to repair this, you realize that these little machines are present. They're like little mindless spiders that you're able to direct. No, here, 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 and there. And they just fall into line. Confirm, confirm, yes, no, yes, no. You begin to line up the code and everything begins to respond to you. <laughs> it's nothing like it ever was before. <laughs> it is playing out in front of you like music. And Everyone who's ever programmed and had to do debugging wishes that the machine would tell you what the problem is. This is, this is amazing. This is so cool. Mm. <laughs> so they seem pretty this happy. Will be ready. This will be ready really soon. Really soon. Uh, Anton, really soon. your jeans are having some difficulty. Um, real ripped. Yeah. You've kind of, you, you, it's not as bad as the Hulk. 
But you, you got there. <clears throat> you definitely went. You definitely went up against it. If you, there's a couple lockers over there, they got some kind of clothes. There are tactical. There is tactical wear. If you need a, you know, a shirt or something. That's a nice jacket. Maybe. Jacket Was. seems like the threading has been strained, but it's remarkably not torn. The irony is, if I were a Cassium, I might be able to pull up some R and D that I'm familiar with, because they were actually working on an experimental self-repairing article of clothing that would be worn by uh, uh, victims of uh, physical uh, injuries mm. that was just healing itself up. That's the irony, but I'm in Raf City right now, mm. and I've never been out here, and this isn't the way that I thought You've my first visit would go. never been to Raft City? No, not yet. Wow. Mm. That uh, makes so sense, you're really shiny. <laughs> yeah. Water makes me nervous. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, like now, especially, uh, but like but it, just before, in general. Yeah. Sorry. Um, Are you completely okay. covered, or is it just your like what? Like I put on gloves. I put on like pants. I put on. I, I'm like covering myself, and they're all so, they're all not my size. So hops, I should tell so, you, there's okay. there's not a lot of tactical clothing inside. Oh. There's like you'll be able to find gloves, okay. and you'll be able to I'm find vests. Gloves, sure. I'm um, just trying to cover whatever skin is. There's is really, there's really not a lot in here that's going to help you. There's vests, okay. there's belts, there's gloves. I thought it was going to be like a snow, like like in snow gear, where you like just you're waddling like a child. No, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't look. No, this looks no. like this was. It looks like this. Right. This thing was loaded up specifically for got one it. purpose. I got gloves on and I'm just holding my hands out so mm -hmm. no one. Thinks. We need to find you some rubber boots, okay? I have some at home, but I don't think I want to go. Home I have now. some at home too. But we're not gonna go to our home. I know, I know. I'll, I'll, I can get some. What size shoe are you? Eight. Well, look, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Mine will fit you. We're trying to find some information, and then <laughs> maybe we can go home after that. Look, I have an idea. What if, like, whatever's in me is just like, like an energy thing, and I can just go outside and like sh shoot it out into the sky or something, and then it'll be, and then it'll be out. You know, like it'll it'll be done, and and then do I'm you know try. how to do that? Well, no, do I don't know how to do that. I don't know what I'm doing. I just I figured that well, may be a good idea. What did it kind of shoot like it out of my you system? Outside, 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 like, like, outside. like barfing. No, yeah, not now. now. Not like barfing. No, I'm just like saying, you know, like hops. Ex Extremicating. Is that like extremicating outside? No, hops. Uh, what? what you're describing is uh, creating a. Massive signal right above our head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the night sky, which might not be the smartest idea right now. All right, all right. Huh. But maybe it wouldn't hurt to to try practicing whatever it is that we're all doing so that we can get some measure of focus and serenity and control. Anton, I'm in a metal can. Are you crazy? Whew. I'm not sure what I'm doing, to be honest. Like, I don't know. Like visiting the past or something? I don't know. You said you I moved really fast. So fast. And slow. And slow. And when you, you made were that falling. guy like, like yeah, you falling kind of... and also froze for a bit. Like. Okay. Well, I don't know. I okay. Don't know. I guess I'll figure it out or something. I made a, I made a man Clearly, ball sizzle. So just... I gotta get to get out of this. Can you do me? Can you do me? That one's I don't know. I'm kind of like human Play-Doh. So let's try. Well, it was when the blood. Right? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Maybe I have to. Maybe do I have, I have to bleed on you? I could bleed. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. I don't need any more blood right now. Um, okay. Let me just try. Maybe. Maybe. maybe um. Maybe try just physical. Maybe I have contact. to touch you. Okay. okay. Um. Just. Okay. I don't want to hurt you, but I don't think you're gonna hurt me. I think this is okay. Okay. Um. Uh, so <laughs> is Luma attempting to? I am. Okay. I'm attempting to. To. I, I guess. Look like her? It wouldn't be, I wouldn't be focusing on anything other than like your face. What does it's, your face look like? It's a your feeling, face. Luma. Yeah. It's just a feeling is the only way I can describe that for you is you just hmm. have a feeling of the person you're looking at and you are all watching miraculously. The miracle happens right in front of your face and for a second, you, Lace, uh, Lacey, Luma is now Cass. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Cass. Voice, so cool. voice and everything. It is Cass. Oh my and god. Luma's oh my god. Out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You're me. You, I'm, I'm you. you. I'm you. My face is weird. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, it's a cool face. Look. I want to see my face. Is it weird? Here, here. Luma, you have rainbow colored hair that's going shocked <laughs> up to the side. Even the follicles themselves have shrunk back into the sides of your head to, to imitate the <gasps> shaved look. You have completely <gasps> changed. 
You are. Look where I bonked myself. <laughs> do your... me, do me, is but don't your... touch me. Mm -hmm. okay. Is her voice still her voice, or is no? It... It's it's no. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's even that's amazing. Even your vocal cords. <laughs> wow. Do me okay. next. Do me next. Okay, wait, let me try to let me try to take it off. <clears throat> you shake it loose. Um, yeah. <laughs> Think of that. <laughs> It just, just kind of shakes like, it loose, yeah, and the, shade come out. the hair just comes, it just shakes out of her head, shocked white, <laughs> drops down to her, to her oh shoulder. God. You know what this means? They won't have to hunt you. You can look like anyone. That, You're safe. You could get us into the lab. That doesn't make me feel better. That, that, that still puts my family a target. That still puts you as a Only target. Only if they that... know about us, but, but, but you're safe. Oh Do me God, next. I'm so glad she's. Thank goodness. I mean, thank unless goodness. they like. I hope that they're okay. I hope that they're okay. Unless they capture okay. and continue, then then you're just the same. You're just as slagged as everybody else. No more ideas from you. <laughs> while, while I'm hugging you, this side of my head does the shave that's mirroring your side of the <laughs> even that is, so is that what I look thing. like? Oh my gosh. You it's even so get. You even get. There's no piercings, but you see the yeah. piercing holes appear <gasps> in. Okay, oh, wait, wait. You did it. Oh, Hang watch on. the hands, yeah. watch the Hang hands. On. We <laughs> gotta test this theory. As I look at you, beard, just oh. beard. <laughs> just like everyone, I'm just mes memorizing. So, do Lacey. me, do me. So Lacey, you, good at this. you see yourself me. with a beard for a split second. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh. Shaking it loose. And I, I just, yeah. I sort of wipe it off like a edge of sketch. Oh. Okay. Now see if you can match this. Beard. I pull my arm out and it's this long, uh, as I'm holding my hand, this like long oh, sliver. Oh, oh my I'm God. <laughs> can you do that? Luma, nothing happens. You start pulling on your arm and it's not doing it. Oh, okay, that's good. That means only nope. I can do that, great. I don't, I'm not wiggly. Are you like okay? Does that hurt at all? Oh, it feels good. Wait, wait. <sighs> Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. From across the plane, his arm just stretches out. I put it around me and throw it like a mink stole. <laughs> and I go like this to your head. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. So I got the arms pretty much down. I can figure, I figure that out, it seems like. Can you make like every, like grow your eyelashes really long. Whoa. So <laughs> what happened, <laughs> Anton, your eyelashes don't exactly grow, but inadvertently, you watch Anton's eyelids. Oh, 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 take it back, take it back. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it takes a lot of concentration for that fine tuning, but it just uh, steps back into your face. Uh, oh, yes, just bust that left. Oh, yes, just loses it. Loses it. Into the wall of the plane. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I mean, that was crazy. So all of these are ready. Maybe it's, maybe it's time to move and then make the calls we need to make. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. You call Lisa. mom again. Tell her to warn my folks. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell her. All right. So you're sure that these are off the grid, untraceable? I'm sure. I'm really good. I'm sure Ruben and Amiko are already at my house. Yeah. Keep her things back. Um, oh, I didn't have it. Um, yeah. Oops. Um, <laughs> did you fix the fried thing? Yeah. Uh, uh, Linda Hopper? Yes. It said on, on the tag on, on our table when we were having food and there was sourdough. Sure, you can just call me Hops. It's fine. <laughs> okay, I fixed it. Thank you. I mean, I don't need to make a call or anything, but it's good to know that I, you know, I have it. You don't have to call your mom? I don't know. She, I work nights. She'll be fine. She, she just assumes I'll be at work or something. <laughs> I want to give her a heads up. She might be a target if this thing again goes all the way to the top of Pyramid Star. First thing. We I mean, I don't even think. Like, they don't even know where we live. Okay, let's let's check if we're on any list before we make these phone calls because they might Idea. be important. Yeah, we okay. were gonna do a search, right? Yeah. All right, let's all do searches for ourselves. All right. so I'll, I'll do searches. On my for really me. sad tablet. So okay. everyone kind of huddles around each other. Brings it up. I look over your shoulder. I can't. Right? I can't do it with my gloves. They. I can't. It's okay. I'll let me touch your for you. So I have yeah. to take my glove off. Or something? Everyone huddles together. Yeah. And quietly, the six of you, for the first moment for the evening, find a moment of quiet as you all bring up information on your machines to reach out to your loved ones. And as you're searching through, we pull away to the ship just sitting in this parking lot. 
the few people finally sticking their heads out to <laughs> this thing, this military grade hovercraft that's just landed in the center of the parking lot, just outside the outskirts of Raft City, just beyond the city lights of downtown Los Angeles. And that is where we are stopping for the evening. <laughs> oh. We might be uh, okay, or we might be so screwed. Yeah. <laughs> so Depends we're going to go ahead and wrap early because uh, because we want to show some more of the fan art. So. Which is amazing! Yeah. Oh. Amazing. Oh, they smoke. Um, There's so, so much! So, so good. Real quick, before we sign off for the night, um, I uh, just want to give everyone a quick uh, thank you for submitting your fan arts. Um, check Twitter because we have posted the new uh, the email address to submit fan art is Callisto6fanart at gmail.com. That's where you want to submit all your fan art. The instructions are up on my Twitter account. They're on the Callisto6 Twitter account, which, by the way, the Callisto6 Twitter account is only going to be used just to touch base with the community and let them know about art stuff. But you'll What's be able that to. Twitter? What's, what's the Twitter? It's Callisto, the word six. But that's not where you're going to want to go for your Callisto six information. That's all going to be on the Geek and Sundry Twitter account. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be your primary source of Callisto. But I mean, follow both. Yeah. 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 So, um, so yeah, uh, definitely do that if you want to submit your art. Thank you so much for the art submissions. I want to give one last quick shout out to Monty Cook Games for Yay! sponsoring us. Um, and wherever they landed on the Kickstarter, congratulations. And I'm Best super excited. Um, I'm really excited about that. Definitely check out their website. You can get the Cypher System uh, core book on their website, as long as it anything else, along with the cards and stuff like that. And they're also available in Drive-Thru RPG. And we are huge fans of Monte Cook. Um, we're going to go ahead and sign off for the night. So Did we, we will see Did we get any XP today? I'll give you that after the game. Okay. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and sign off for the night tonight. So definitely come back and catch us um, next week, uh, same time. And for the alpha users, because I know we went down for a little bit, don't worry. We're going to have that. That's going to be available to you on the VOD, anytime, any stuff that you missed. And in the meantime, we will see you next Friday at 4 p.m. PST. And until then, everyone, stay whimsical. Bye. Good night. Thank you.